thank you guys for joining us. Today we have okay. KLS. What's your name? Kales. Well, my name is Kevin Lamont South. <laughs> KLS is my, is my KLS. Yes, yes he goes by Kales. That's his handle. Yeah. All right. At KLS. So, it's um at KLS underscore experience. It's for okay. Instagram and at KLS experience right. underscore experience so, underscore experience. Yeah. Okay. For this, I wanted to get him on. Okay, because he's super busy. He couldn't make it the last time, but um. I wanted him. This guy is a Donald Trump supporter. <laughs> and first of all, he looks like us. All right, there. He ain't gonna be the first so one. he's like, is that called an anomaly? No. no, no. All right, hey, you, no. you talking about Angela Staten on this show? She oh like yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. But I actually, I don't know Angela Staten. I, just, oh, this I is the know. No. Him. no. Yes. Okay. okay. So I don't know many. Many Trump, Trump supporters. supporters. Black Trump supporters. Yeah. Are okay. you, so, do you guys support Trump? I don't support none of them clowns. Yeah. <laughs> they oh. are, they, I posted a meme on my page. You know, Democrats see uh, Trump as a Democracy. devil. Democracy. And then uh, Republicans see Biden as a, as a devil. And I see all of them as clowns. Mm. That's how I see all of them, man. So I don't really support nobody. I like that. Like so, well, you forgot. Okay. Well, you forgot one group, though. Actually, Republicans also see him as the devil. Oh, do they? Oh, many Republicans see uh, him as the devil. Who Donald see, Trump. See who is the devil? Donald Trump. Oh, okay. really? Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, the, the the kind of Republicans that typically run for president, the Bushes, the oh, kind of yeah, he's that not one of the type. Uh, he's, he's, he's not in that club oh, okay. at all. But those are the ones who have the power grip in politics, much like the Democrats who. You know they play the same game with different with different names. Yeah. But he definitely does not run. You know, close with those circles in those circles as well. Damn. So it's kind of a feat which is another that he won. No. Yeah, because he's. I feel like they have the support of them as well. Absolutely. Talking to this guy has really made me like change my thinking a bit, and I think that's why I was so excited to bring him on. Although I'm still, I still think Donald Trump is a racist. Okay. okay. And you. Show- and I'm still waiting for. Uh, Evidence other than well, I, just look at how the people behave. The I think that he is energized. The, or the, or the, not, I'm talking about his supporters. Yeah, but it's not how him. Does, yeah. supporters, what does he do that? That he makes dog you say whistles. He's he what, dog what whistles. He, he hand do? signs. He what's this? The the oh, his little side? hands. What's that? Probably did that too, though. No. Yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> so y'all are <laughs> disagreeing <laughs> with me <laughs> about this? Y'all saying that he don't dog whistle? I'm just asking you to give a valid thing that shows that, that is one. We need evidence. I know. Listen, we've had this. She and I are just a lot of her. So her point is that whatever he's doing, mm-hmm. maybe not to you because you don't hear it. Mm-hmm. The dog whistle isn't for you. Mm-hmm. But it's inciting the people who are truly racist to feel comfortable. Do you agree with that? To to do whatever they do. Something's oh, happening. I see what you're saying. Not, yeah. see, that's not that's not indicative of him being a racist. That's it, actually trying to pander, which other politicians do. Mm-hmm. I mean, if if you so agree, I got hot sauce in my bag. Who said that? Yes, yeah, so technically speaking. Be and who was just taking? Does that make her? Does that make her? And then good? at the end, is it working? No. When he Kam- asks, he says, he right. Can't. And Hillary Clinton did it, and then Kamala Harris. You see her pouring hot uh, hot sauce on the green, yeah. and then everybody, and everybody no. posting it like, yeah, she black. Like no. really? That's is all she? it takes, black people. Oh, so so Hillary Clinton is black then. Based on what you say, Kamala Harris is Donald Trump. Based on what you say, it's racist. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I got the devil's advocate part that you guys are, are saying. <laughs> now, let's get back to what she was saying in the beginning. Yeah, she was saying that there's something that he's putting out there <laughs> that's igniting those people who are truly racist to feel bold enough to come out and, and do what exactly they do. What and about. so, can I ask you a question? Is though? that give okay. me what is the evidence of the question I will ask to that is. What is what then do those 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 racist Republicans who have who receive this signal this dog whistle mm-hmm. what do they do in response to that dog whistle? Let me just say this for example: think about any protests that Trump supporters, typical Trump supporters, have done recently. Any kind of Second Amendment rallies we had, for example, I can't remember the state forty thousand gun toting Second Amendment advocates on the um uh, the governors. I don't know. I think I don't can't remember the state. No instances of violence. No one got shot. This and this is this has been the case for all kinds of protests involving these dog whistled Trump supporters. No right. violence. Peaceful. 
So you asking what's the what did it result in? So what is it? I mean, yeah, we've we receiving this I think whistle. It's like the nastiness and the. But I'm saying, is it is the evidence? It is, are you and seeing evidence? And they're not necessarily of, being uh, aggressive, but they are in some ways being passive aggressive when they show up with weapons, which is their right. But when they show up with weapons, you know, I, I just. I think that he's mobilizing these races. But to do They're getting what? involved. You can't, yeah. To, yeah. to, to attack they? black people. Fine. To So they I started mean, attacking black people. I mean, some of them so, so have it, done. It was like they gave getting, Karen's the power. Yes. To they do gave, what? To, 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 to harass to, black people. To, to call the police. Uh, but, but, but didn't that happen under Barack Obama, too? I'm getting ready to say. Black when, people were getting killed under started. Barack Obama. I, mean, no, no, I didn't say anything about killings. I said harassment. I mean, yeah, y'all, so y'all going to try oh, so, to tell me that So the racism haven't. is harassment now. That's what it is. I'm trying to understand. Man, black people get harassed. I I can't be the only one that just came. Well, I'm just. It's not not harassment. It's not. I'm saying like what the the fact that people acting the way that they are, there has to be something in them that makes them feel comfortable enough to. Come at a black man or come at a black but woman. You're assuming randomly. those are Republicans. You're assuming that that's the Trump I'm Republican. Saying, I'm, well, they have 2020 MAGA hats on uh, and stuff yeah, like uh, that. Give me, the, give me an example. Uh, uh, give me an example. Give me like the, and I'm not trying to just be. Stu- well, okay. So there was like this. Oh, the guy comedy, getting punched at the rally. Comedy, comedy Central or did a, some interviews of some people that were like 2020. They were Trump supporters. Comedy right? Central did. Yes. And they did a. Um, just a, a reel of asking them questions about who they supported and why they supported him and the laws he was enacting and how it affected him. And and there was no true, um, just like you're asking for proof of, of evidence of why they support him. They didn't know why. They just loved him and, and liked him. They felt like this was the white America and he was supporting the white America and he's going to make great. They use those words. Yes. Okay, I would need to, again, I would, I would love to... In some greater point, I would look that up, that common central, because I I, I've, that. I've never seen that where, I mean, I've, I've seen I mean, if they have the hat on, I assume they support him. But they right? said, but I'm well, saying, white America, America. yes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, we have to see that in context. I mean, okay. I, it's one thing to say, because again, I've heard some whites speak up for themselves and say, listen, why am I now, because I'm white, mm-hmm. you know, just automatically the enemy. And so some are speaking up in that way. I just, I'm looking for the evidence where you're seeing, like, for example, you can say, for example, when the person, that little, the older white man was riding on the little cart and he was like white power and Trump um, retweeted. He did not retweet it, in my opinion, because he was supporting the white power. He just didn't look through the whole trip, through the whole um, clip. Okay. So that I would look at you and say, okay, that's an example of one supporter who has some kind of racist. That's an example. That's anytime, an incident, you, yeah. anytime there's a, this is my point. Anytime there's an actual incident of racism, overtly, I'm on your side. Okay. Whether I'm a Trump supporter or whether I, but what I'm hearing a lot of times is all of this, mo, like the language, you mobilize, and that literally means there is a movement. Mm-hmm. What I can say on the converse side is there is a mobilization against policies that Trump support. Good. That's, there's a definitely you can see in Portland, you can Tell see in Minnesota. There's an true. actual mobilization. You see people in the street. You see the 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 day after he was President Trump was actually elected. They there marched. was a worldwide yeah, march. march. That's yeah. mobilization. Those that many people are not going to gather in every country around the world unmobilized. That's the true instance of mobilization. I want to see on the Trump side where you've seen Trump supporters mobilize for a racist intent. And if you're going to talk about Charlottesville, that's a whole other discussion. No, but I was going to bring up Charlottesville. I was going to bring up Atlanta where mm. the gun holders also showed up. Oh, at the, the KKK at, joint. Yeah, yeah, the KKK showed up. You're talking about the black people. No, no, the, no, the, the black people. That was the black people. people. No, the white people showed up too. Maybe not at the same time, but oh, okay. they, the white people did else. show up, and I, oh, yeah, and they I did. think the, and the black, black people, people were reactionary to, oh, what the black people, to what the white people right. done initially. Okay. Why not Charlottesville? Why we can't talk about Charlottesville? I'm not saying we can't talk about. I mean, what I'm saying is that I showed her this proof yet, just maybe two days mm. ago, where the idea is that he said that in Charlottesville, the white supremacists and the neo Nazis were fine people. That is the that is the you guys remember nerd. the fine people yeah yeah, yeah. Very I was fine. literally right, 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 right. literally yeah. Joe Biden literally just in his most recent we political ad the, uh, in his most recent political ad it was like the it was like I don't know if it the convention year, it was it was an anniversary of that Charlottesville event I can't uh-huh. remember how many years he requotes he 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 quotes 
supposedly quotes Trump saying very that they were very fine people. And mm-hmm. I sat here with her and showed her the clip of him speaking. Mm-hmm. It's categorically false. It's not that. That's not the he case. He never said very he fine never people. He did. He, but he said there are very fine people on, on both, both sides. sides. He did but say that. he said, I'm not talking about the Denver white supremacy. supremacy. Who should be condemned. So he, he said it. He, he didn't said say Trump said this. Yeah. Yeah. He, he said, said it twice. twice. He <laughs> said it twice. They cut that other part out. Of course they do. And no, that's that's but that's not it. That's that's just one. I, I mean, even the whole all Mexicans are rapists. I'm telling you, I posted the clip when the full clip when he was on that show on M, on um, MSNBC, and when she she tried to get him to retract, he said no. He because he didn't say what they wanted us to think. He said about all Mexicans are rapists. And no, he didn't say that. There was always there was a caveat in his response, but. Who cares about caveats when you're trying to shape a narrative that what? He is racist, therefore you don't listen to his ideas. You don't even consider him. You, he's a racist. Who considers a racist? You shut racists out. You close your heart off to them. And sadly, that's what we hey, are today. Hey, Kevin, do you think that uh, they are like fattening us up for the Antichrist and Biden? Because it seems like it's like a... A very very strong or staunch mm-hmm. uh, uh, approach to demonizing Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. They don't really talk about his policy like no, that. They no. just talk about his personality. Yeah, him. they talk about him. Yeah. He's a racist. You know what I'm yeah. saying? All this type of stuff. Yeah, so I it's kind of like though. they're trying to prop up a savior. I mean, he does. He's a little petty, anti. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he does. Well, what else yeah. would you have him do? Yeah, but do you think job. that they're trying to prop up I'm talking about like, a, a salvation? Like uh, no, I'm saying. What else would you have the Democratic Party do? What no, it's you? not just Democrats. This is like every. It's like everybody worldwide, it's, man. It's, Listen, you got the, everybody's against Trump. Trump. I mean, just, everybody against Trump. Biden. Anything other than Trump. Anything and people have been, anything people say than, people have said I'm willing to vote for the devil if it's to get him out of power. It's anything other than a pop. Let me just say this first of all. Is there a always? There's always a bigger scheme in my personal worldview. It's just my worldview. There's always a bigger. Um, um, there's always something bigger happening than what we can witness with our eyes and we can physically pick up, pick up on. So there is a bigger plan. I believe there is a culminating of life as we know it. I think there's an ending to life as we know it. This is not new for me. I mean, you go back into ancient history. Every even our most ancient religions had some idea of an afterlife that this was not supposed to last forever. So this is not a new idea that. Earth is not going to last forever. And so my Christian worldview is just with a lot of worldviews from the past. So in that sense, yes, they're definitely preparing for that end. The idea, when I'm looking at it, it's a globalist versus a populist. A globalist is someone who literally wants Marxism. to work with other people, supposedly. But there's only going to be one at the end. But they're to work with other people so that no individual country stands out as most powerful. Like we are the hege- hege- hegemony right now, the United States. There have been other, Rome, there have been Persia, there have always been. So in that sense, they don't want any one country having a certain amount of power. power yeah. So they say we want to. That's the socialist you, agenda. It is. But so, any, but, yeah. The Zionists. Yeah, the Zionist agenda. Mm-hmm. So that's to a speak. whole other rabbit That's a whole man. other yeah. story, man. Yeah, I don't think y'all want to yeah, do that. Zionists? <laughs> yeah, yeah those people Look it up in your, in your those, spare time. So all jokes those, aside. Those cats that uh, the demonize the Nick world. Cannon and, and all those types yeah. of people. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, but they and what, George Soros with the Black Lives Matter movement. It's a whole lot of powerful political players that are not politicians. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They got money to fund Antifa. They got money to fund anti-Trump this. They got money to do things. And they're trying to push our country and the rest of the world into globalism because that George Floyd joint, it ignited riots and, and well, shit all the, over the world. The things that the all George over the Floyd world. situation was a... Um, it was a psyop. It was. It was a psyop. First of all, it's clear evidence that George Floyd and the person, um, the the uh, the Davin, I can't remember his last name, the the cop. They worked for seventeen years in the same club. They they knew each other. Oh, yeah. This on. is a for some of our some of our viewers, you know, chauffeur. Break down what a psyop is. A psyop is basically Good when job. government. A psyop is basically when the government, um, um, they basically kind of like a playwright. They kind of create a storyline, but it's reality. It's real, mm-hmm. but they are creating it so that psychologically we're thinking one way we're thinking oh my god there's imminent danger there's imminent this which it is 
But the in, imminent danger is not the thing that they want you to focus on, which is the death of, or for us, our imminent danger is not white cops. I'm sorry. It's, it's just, it just well, isn't. I've said that on the show plenty of times, man. When you look at the total deaths that cops, uh, the total deaths by cops mm -hmm. in our country is probably like a thousand. And then like 200 of those are for black people. And we're not talking about unarmed. You know, some, some of them people might have been armed. Mm -hmm. Some of them people might have posed an actual threat to the officers. But we're talking about 250 people out of well, how many people we got in our community, black people. But even less than that, in 2019, so, there was only 25. There were 25 well, we, we unarmed. We're talking about unarmed, though. I'm talking about total. In to I got you. So I'm, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. All the people who march against police brutality. It's only 200-something 50 people. 250 people who get killed by police uh -huh. as black people in our communities, period, yearly. Okay. And I'm being, that's the modest number. Sometimes it's 180, sometimes it's 160. It's never higher But it's never higher than 250. And I told her the statistics, there are three, three, average of 3 million arrests of African Americans or encounters arrests of African Americans annually. This is what um, the Department of Justice kind of their approximate that about uh, 10 million arrests are made a year. I told you about this mm -hmm. as well, but a year, 10 million. Mm -hmm. Of those, about 3 million of those are of blacks. Okay. We encounter the police and are arrested. That's still a large number considering how, right. you know, we, and that's a whole we, other conversation. 10% of the population, whatever. You know, yeah, we're but, 12%, but the point is, is that of those 3 million arrests, that, mm -hmm. those are encounters with police. Okay. Mm -hmm. If only 19 unarmed blacks were killed in 2019, mm -hmm. and that number has been trending down, 19... If 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 nineteen out of three million encounters with the police in a year, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that any one death is bad. Uh, right, one death I'm not is bad. Saying, I'm saying but, that 250 deaths is bad. But Don't the idea wrong. that we focus on that one thing exactly. as if that that is the imminent that's the psyop part. And we got babies uh, being okay. aborted by the millions every year. So he feels and black the same lives way supposed to matter. That. Yeah, How is he black feels the same way matter? about That's, uh, Republicans and abortion, uh, not supporting abortion, right? In terms of what are you talking about with that? Republicans, the Republican Party does not support abortion. Mm -hmm. For the most part, for, no. For the most part. Or yeah. is that you? Maybe Hold up, y'all. I feel like we dancing. Yeah, we do. Right. Yeah, we like, say, I'm let's, 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 oh, let's hold it in. Yes. What, you stay with it. What, 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 are we, what are we focused on right now? I thought because we I thought we were talking about how the George Floyd and the Sia. We were exactly. Well, we, we were, did right, 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 right. So right. I thought so that then, came to a conclusion. Well, well no, 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 we because, were still talking about that. Oh, no, sorry. Because I, I thought the issue wasn't necessarily that the black people got killed. Whatever. Okay. I thought it was more that once they did it, it was like cover up. Well, no they, they get away behind with it. it. They, they get, get away, away with it. it. I, yeah. I didn't think the issue was them dying. So you guys bringing up the statistics it is. about how many people died. That's partially that's not, not what we're hearing. Problem. What we're hearing is, you know, you think about on t-shirts. You see, stop killing black people. No, let's look at um, let's look at but Michelle Obama. More of the, I, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a catchy so, thing. No, I mean, it seems like it's more of a. It seems like it's more of an issue with. It starts as what she said, but then it seems like what gets pushed is what. Y'all saying, yeah. What gets pushed is the idea of BLM. It's black, like, it's black like, Lives Matter. We gotta stop killing all these black, black people. people and the they, point is, it's not a lot of black people dying the way that y'all saying they right. dying. I mm. thought I didn't think it. So was. it's a total shift from what you said, right? It, but I, I, I just keep just going ask. back to the same thing. Like I just thought that was the 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 border well, the issue was not that necessarily. I mean, it is bad that they get killed, but I thought the fact that they're not getting prosecuted, no right, right? At yeah, the same it rate that others no would get. I don't, that's not what I'm hearing. And so that's a problem. But if only nineteen are dying. I'm just saying, if 19 unarmed, we talk because this unarmed is the thing we're focused on with BLM. Again, the psyop is what the country perceives is really the temperature of the country as a result of what happened to George Floyd. There's therefore now this idea psychologically that we as African Americans are being hunted by police. Why do you think that is? Why do you think they want that to because be Because at on the end of the day, we're being hunted by the people creating the psyop. The people who really want to exterminate has always wanted to exterminate blacks. That's what I'm saying. Have always been. Hear me out. Why do you think they would want you to be like, man? They could after it, us. Just, if they after you. Listen, a house divided. Said, there was a very you know powerful man who once lived who said a house divided against itself won't stand. And so you got to have us fighting, not just blacks and whites fighting. Now you have blacks and blacks. I mean, because the idea it's of in itself. It's hard to live with an idea that you know is not true for you. Most black people, when you just mm. do your own, when you do your own data personally, say, okay. "Let me ask you, 
When's the last time you encountered the police? Mm. Now I'm gonna tell you. I can tell you where police stopped me right here in front of my house. Here, I've had an encounter with the police just run up on me in this parking lot. This was um, a year or so ago. I encountered the police. He came up on me. I was parking. It said, and I'm like, what's the problem? He's like, well, I, you know, that we got, uh, you know, a radio that their car, your color, so on and so forth. He was very aggressive. I understood the fear. I understood the, so I know it can happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying, but let me juxtapose that one encounter with all the other encounters. I'm not going to tell you all the other things I've been doing while I've been driving my car and all that stuff that, you know, and the point is I've not had many encounters with the police and I've been African-American. Um, so, but that's, uh, I'm playing devil's advocate. We live in Prince George County. Here ain't like yeah, nowhere yeah, else. Yeah. I hate when y'all compare what this to other In comparison to America. America. So my yeah. point is, if that's what so I have a rebuttal for that. <laughs> so my point is, let's, let's not focus on me then. Let's focus on the hot spots. And I'm saying, when you focus on the neighborhoods where there will be increased encounters with police, mm -hmm. is the issue the police or is the issue something else? And I'm oh, saying, if you're gonna, really so what I'm is. saying is, let's say we're not talking about Upper Marlboro. Let's just talk about, we're not talking about Upper Marlboro. Let's talk about C. Pleasant. Or let's talk about um, Oxon Hill. Or let's talk about. Now we would have Lando. to go outside of PG County. Well, no, no. There's some places. There's some places in PG County where it's very dangerous. I mean, no, no, there's no, still no, places. About it, but it's still PG County. Okay. Well, let's go to Southeast. The point I'm making is that anywhere so you no, go, it's the same thing. Yeah. Let's go to Chicago. Let's go to another state. Let's go to <laughs> where? <laughs> no, no. Southeast is really. I mean, whether you know it or not, it's really dangerous in certain parts of Southeast. No, no, no. It's not about the police, though. But my point is, anywhere you go to Chicago, if you go to Detroit. If you go to, you know, you go to any major city, mm -hmm. are you going to tell me that the predominant issue for blacks in these neighborhoods are police? Oh, no, it's I agree not. with you 100%. Uh, so bro. that's my whole point. Okay. It, 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 it even more supports the idea so that they're the, just trying to push confusion on Because at the end of the yeah. day, they don't want you to have a clear idea of what's really going on. Yeah. Yeah. While we were getting it together or something? Because again, they're not trying to correct the real issue of black criminality. Because they started the issue. They, they kind of started the issue of black criminality. Again, the whole idea of the ghetto. So they, they're really not trying to deal with solving the problem. You gotta watch that video. I so what they got to do is have a distraction. What is the distraction? Let's focus on something that is really not really help hurting matter. the black community. Let's focus on oh, black police. That's and I've said that before. I said, man, police brutality, yes, it's an issue. But that don't like number 30. On what's really ailing us in our in our communities, man. So, what do you guys think is ailing us? Like top five. Top five. Number one is poverty. No, no men. Course. No, no oh, men. Yeah. The absence of men. And, oh, the absence of the actual father who gave yeah. birth to the actual child, and what should naturally come from that—the kind of connection, the kind of the kind of covering, the kind of involvement, the kind of—I'm talking about in, in an ideal world. Yeah. Where, you know what I'm saying? No, it, it needs to be more than I you know, but, but, but my point yeah. is, is that if that is yeah. in place, it doesn't matter where the kid is. Yeah. I think Michelle Obama was born on the what south side of Chicago. But the difference was she had a mom and a father who loved each other and loved her. It's not just about loving that child, but also loving each other. This is what the research shows. If a child is in that kind of environment, but we know that's not happening. And so you say... The, who put who put who who took the problem out of the environment? Thank you. We, talk, say, we, we go right, with two. So that's a valid let's, one. They, we go, they ain't addressing that. that well, yeah, well, so who's going with two? We, we talk about well, I, I wasn't doing it in any particular order, yeah. yeah. but uh, no, no. I would say top five is definitely no fathers in the home. Mm -hmm. um, Can't help, read illiteracy, education. No, it's specifically illiteracy. If you cannot read, he works in the school system, so I don't know about people. Who if can't you read. cannot read, you're not going to be. You're not going you to even, and you're yeah. not even going to be motivated to try to go. What we, what we would call the straight and narrow. You know, we say you don't have to go that. Uh, well, if you feel like you can't read, I'm telling you, there's no other frustration. I've tried to call on children in class to read who nah, can't. That a is fact. a very a emotional and frustrating it. situation. Yeah. You will that that kid will find something else to do. Than to read unproductive. Even, Exactly yeah. And so we see that So illiteracy is a, And what we see happening In Baltimore And in other cities Is that kids are graduating Unable to read And there's a documentary Talking, talking no about child uh, No her. child left or what, Waiting on uh, Superman Waiting on Superman Waiting yeah, on yeah, Superman great, All they do is just Usher them on to the next grade Exactly Usher them on to the next Absolutely. grade They might assign Some of them Rid of them Because they got ADD Whatever the case may be, and that's a whole another problem yeah. in itself as well. All right, so yeah, they so, clearly want to address that's that. That's a confidence thing. So yeah, who, who's, in, who's in charge of these school systems? We, well, I, the taxpayers. No, no. Well, I'm gonna the say politicians that are. I'm gonna go to say the parents don't. 
I don't think parents exercise their power in that. That's another problem. Uh, I don't think they know the how parents. much power they actually have. The father's not there. And, well, yeah. <laughs> and so, so the, the parent doesn't parent. exercise, and that's already parent, another problem. Yeah. So we talk about the problems with what's going on in terms of black criminality, and I say black criminality. We need to focus on what's going on in our community. What's going on? You talk about in our top five issues of black for the black community: it's fatherlessness, and we said you talked about education, 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 education. Of course, uh, economics. Because of the education, we can't get proper uh, jobs and to, to support our families and this and that and the other. That's another one. Health is another one because mm-hmm. we all dying from, which is why y'all probably eat the way y'all eat. You know what I'm saying? Seamoss. <laughs> Seamoss in the building. Uh, uh, chick, hiccups. Chickpeas. Hiccups. What were they Sweet. Hey, oh, hit, Sweets by Tiffany. Hippies. Vegan. Uh, vegan vegan cookies. cookies. Sweets by Tiffany.com. You know? Very good. Uh, health very is definitely an issue, but I. Well, the last I think thing has to be abortion. That's, abortion that's, is definitely killing. But, a lot but one of people. thing we talk about is the is the over sexualization over sexualization of our, of the car. Let me tell you something: young girls uh, and boys who grow up in our inner cities. This is not a black. Again, I'm not black, I'm not mad at black people mm. because I'm black and I'm a and I'm a, a Trump supporter. I'm not trying to say this all black people's fault. Because there is something there, no, no, de- there are definitely, but these are right? real issues going on. Let me tell you addressed. something: the amount of children who are, for young women, uh, one of the I was using this with you. One of the rites of passage for young women is being brought into sex at very young ages. And let me tell you something: those age limits are not met in the inner cities. If you are 13 and you still exactly. you're very sexual and you wearing your look, because this is what you're seeing. You're listening to WAP. Without, I don't even listen to the song, but you're, you're, you know, you're looking at this stuff. You're seeing these images. You're seeing and the this, power that it holds. This has been going on for a while. Man, exactly. We had little Kim, and, but not just with sex. Yeah. Yeah. It's with I mean, we was enjoying it, too, but we the had music it. promotes criminality as well. And let me tell you something. And now we promote drug usage and, now. And, and so we talking about also we we. At first it was the drug jib being the we, drug We left that out. Now it's, it's being the damn... Criminality. So now it's just the gangsters. Yeah. You had to hustle. And now you, now you gotta and be now a you drug Now you gotta be users. You gotta be users. So that is yeah. culture. So I say number three would actually be culture. No, number one is culture. Well, I, I still think number one... Well, well no, no. Culture. Number one is culture. Culture. Because with, we don't have a culture in our community. Bingo. Wow. And the culture that we should be following is, you know, here I go with my Bible thumping. Is the culture in the Bible? <laughs> the culture you know of the Most High. The culture of the Most High. He set the laws for us as a people. Right. We don't know who we are. We right. don't know that we are the people in the book. Yeah. We don't know that the book was written by our ancestors, and we're supposed to follow those. And that's the culture, because everything that we discuss is in the Bible. But the thing is, we are not. Well, we are. We are not relying on the Bible. We're relying on another somebody else to shape the culture. What I'm saying is that. Culture, what we have bought into as a community, as acceptable for Wickedness. our culture, it's not. It just doesn't work for people that have been oppressed. It, don't it work doesn't for work people. over sexualizing a, a a race of people but, who have been. It's not going to. Just, it's, it's just not listen to this: the stuff that we've accepted and we've started to embrace in our culture, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Nobody else does it. Mm-hmm. No other cultures, yeah. no other groups of people. And most of us do don't that even shit. realize right. that we embrace it and it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. it, it lit- you don't see no yeah. Chinese people, you know. And we'll get mad if you say something about it. Like yeah. something you don't about see Asian it. people. Asians, they do their thing. They don't even vote mm-hmm. and they got power. Mm-hmm. So all the people who say voting is power and this, that, and the other, you're wasting your you vote. Wasting your vote. But all the this difference is stuff, in they, their houses, they have a culture. That's a culture that, that, that values education, not just by what you say, but just the practical. We was talking about this again as well. Just how you set up your home. This is what the research really shows. That it doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter how poor you are. It doesn't matter how rich you are. If you have someone in your home that keeps you getting up in the morning, make sure you're in school, make sure you're doing your homework. If you have someone supervising what parents are supposed to do, that is a greater indicator of success for children than whether or not they were born rich or poor, white or black. And so this is what the research is showing, that basically it was was showing poor kids who had that family structure there and wealthy white kids who had a family structure. They're really, it, it really is a matter of if you spend a lot of time yeah, doing your homework, some, be some and they spend a lot of time doing their homework, listen, you're, you're both going to have to sell the right culture hey, in your house. If it, come from the right culture. It'd be, some rich, it'd be some rich kids fucking up, man. Yeah. Man, like, because be they're liar. distracted like us. Yeah. The idea is how distracted are we in the home so that the things that value get less time. So we're so distracted with all of us. Our homes are just full of distractions. I mean, you know, we just got Programming. to Programming. Exactly. So the things that value, which is 
doing your homework, not just saying go to your room and do it, mm -hmm. but actually if it's a value, I remember watching like period movies like from back in the day, like um, The Great Debater. And you would see the black kid come in the house. His father will be in the house reading and preparing for his sermon. So when he told you to go in your room and do your homework, you saw your dad actually doing, doing his homework. homework. Uh -huh. It was not just a value that you spoke of. It was a value that you actually set by what your example is. So These are this. What do you think? Do you think this, like these things that we just talked about, these top five things, do you think this is something that we can recover from? No. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? At this point, like where we are in the in this whole system that we're in. What do you mean by we? I'm mm. talking about us. As a people, people that look like us. Not, not, all, not us now. individually. I don't really care. I don't, I don't care about none of them. Not individually. I'm talking about other people. I'm talking about the house that's burning right that's now. That's a very conservative yeah. attitude. Yeah. Conservative yeah. attitude. Yeah. You say, I, she, you said, I can only control what goes on in my house. In other words, you look at yourself as an individual. As an, I, I love to quote this guy, this preacher named Robbie Zacharias. He says, you are an entity, not a quantity. So even though we share the same skin, as far as you and your house, this is how it's going to go. Whether it's the trend for others in my community or not. That's the kind of mindset that starts to rebuild communities because we can't say exactly. when we all get together then somebody's going to start. No, somebody has, has to, to start, start in your for us home. all to get together. So what you're saying is that we can't home. wait for our savior to come and we say, oh, he's here? Now we can get on the train and support. Right. Can I tell you what I'm actually saying? I'm actually okay. saying as a Christian with a Christian world view, I'm actually saying to your viewers the savior has already come mm, and the savior no came and went for me. I'm just talking about my Christian world view. I don't mm. give that disclaimer. He already Ooh. came and when he died and he got up, he got it for our freedom. And so your identifying in that freedom says you're free. That's really I don't true. care what you're looking like. What That's you, very true. And when people wake up to that freedom, then you're able to see your individual value. That's very apart true. from your skin color, apart from your race, apart from your gender, apart from your sexual whatever, you see yourself as a new creature. Not so you can be in church. Not so you can be wearing robes. Not so you can be going to conferences so that you can live a life of freedom. Is that does that mean? I'm not well, saying no, I'm perfect, you're, 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 but you're, that's where it starts. You're right, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, long story short, the wicked have inherited the earth, right? Yes, now. right. The wicked are in charge right now, and everything that we suffer from is what the wicked people so have forecasted, uh, have forecasted on us. Mm -hmm. They programmed us to and in, be indoctrinated yeah. in whatever belief system and whatever culture that we have today even though i say we don't have a culture mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying the democrats they say hey take the father out the home so you can have you know health uh so you can have uh what's that shit you talking about you talking about the uh, welfare you know talking about the deal yeah, yeah. i mean Johnson. it's so many different things that yeah. happen whether it's entertainment industry right, how right, we right, look right. at these people as our gods we don't even know it though right you right. understand what i'm saying so the bottom line is what you're saying is about the savior the Mashiach, the Messiah. Yeah. He 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 came here because he understands the most high understands that we live in this fleshly body. Right. And it's hard to overcome the desires of these worlds. Right. That's why he provided us with the Holy Spirit. Mm. And if we tie into that Holy Spirit on a daily basis and walk with the most high, yes, we can't overcome it. But for the people who don't want to do that, it's as simple as stay on your kids' ass. Do your best to progress in this society. If you don't want to raise your child in the hood, do your best to get about the hood and then start a family. But guess what? There is no power to do that. That's, listen, we're not just talking about a story that's devoid of strength. We need actual strength to well, get up off our table. Listen, even if you fall physically, if you fall on the ground physically, it takes strength to get up off the ground. No if you fall down and break your leg, I don't care how much you want to get up. If there's no strength in the bone to, that allows you to stand up, you ain't Darn. getting up. Yeah. And what I'm saying is that the strength to just, you, you just said, and I don't understand spirit, what you're yeah. saying, because you can't isolate people who don't have our uh, Christian worldview or whatever your worldview is. You can't isolate them. But what I say to people is, good luck on where you find your strength to do it. Because I'm telling you what happens in the world where we have all of these distractions is that not only do they distract us, but they take our strength from us. The literal strength to survive. The literal strength to yeah, be you. divine. There is a you, We were born with, with the image. We're in the Man. image of God. So we're born with a, 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 a nature to be divine. They make to you be feel inadequate. It ain't like going to make you feel you are. You participated. When you put your eyes on it, you, you zap your strength out. I think that's, you know, I mean, I think that's what it really is. And so people don't have strength. They're feeble. 
Well, they're, they're tired. They if we're talking that, to the black people in particular, every, but it's not just black people. I mean, tell but me, no, but I'm talking about when I'm talking about black people in particular, we supposed to be the judges. We supposed to be the the gods of this earth. You understand what I'm saying? And we supposed to set the example. But the reason why we're in the predicament we're in because we fell by the wayside of following what everybody else do. Right, right, right. So we're so not in that's, our culture. So, was that, so that's, what does that say about us? What yeah. does that say about yeah. us it is a weakness. the only way. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That, that means yeah. It's yeah. Period. This is why I talk about the cross again, about the Mashiach or the Messiah. Because it says that even if you were chosen, you still need something else. Yes, of course. So what I'm saying is that even those who are by selection, you've been chosen to be this special group of people that, you know, rock with God in a special way. You get special privileges. You get special covenants. Nobody else even knows. I mean, he gets to talk to you. The prophets come for you. You can have all these privileges, but what the scriptures teaches us is that even with all those privileges, you needed something else well, to actually the exercise. Savior needed something else. Christ mm -hmm. needed something else. So as black men... It's a Knowing these things and hearing these beautiful things come out of your mouth, what are you yeah. doing personally mm -hmm. to move your 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 immediate forward? Tell me, me personally, what? you know, I go out here. I got a ski mask in the car. <laughs> 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 uh, That's a good question, though. No, I mean, I like to. I, I pose this to. Well, not just not just to you, black men, but I, I I've been on my old people lately. I've I've been right. I, I've been asking people what well, they're doing, and 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 now that the men are you know leaders, right? right. Y'all lead. What are you doing specifically? Well, not talking about. I don't want to hear talk. I want to hear the action, action. that you're I'm gonna doing. I'm going to tell you the action that I'm doing. To, I, I got you. you. Know, I'm ready. To tell okay. My action. Is, yeah, okay. I do. I right. just want to hear. You guys are ready. Tell tell I just want to hear. Tell tell my good. action. My action. What I've been doing was I've been turning to the Most High for everything. The strength that you're talking about is through the Most High. Even Christ, when He was going out here. Healing the sick, and he had to go pray. And doing yeah. all the things. He said, "I'm doing all this through my father." Yeah, he needed this. I'm not my father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people I look at yeah, a lot of people look at Christ like he's God. He's yeah. not. He was just a man, just like us. He felt pain, just like that. So me, what I do personally is I'm trying to get my wife to uh, to understand the Word of God more. She's starting to read the Word of God more. I'm putting God first in my life. Okay. That's the very first thing that we all have to do individually as men. Okay. And my wife. I don't, you know, she's supposed to allow me to lead the family the way the most high allows me to lead this family. Right. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to indoctrinate my son in righteousness because I was lost for 30 something years of my life mm. looking for the truth mm. because they scramble our minds in so many different mm. directions, man. Mm. We sit up here, we get raised as Christians and we like, man, something ain't right. right about this. Mm. Right. So you leave Christianity and you go to yeah. something else and you be like, something ain't right, something ain't right, right about this either. Mm. And then, you know, I finally found the truth mm. at the age of 33. And now mm. I'm trying to get into this Christ-like walk to be righteous because at the end of the day I know all these things that we talk about are very carnal man it's a Maybe. spiritual war uh, physical it's a spiritual warfare going on and it's a war for our souls and if we don't get our minds right set on the most high when the most high comes back or when our days are up we're going to be judged and if we're not just if our judgment is not saying job well done my servant you're going to perish forever at the end of the day. And that's what I want to prepare my family for. I want to prepare my family for the for, afterlife, for the kingdom of heaven to come. Which is, which, just to add to your point, the kingdom is already with, in other words, you're in, I only have to do what my individual story requires that I do. I don't have to do something that they say, I'm a black man, this we have a black problem, Where, why are you marching? Because I first, me personally, I see no point in that. I'm honestly, I see, I see, I think that's, I'm sorry guys, it's I just carnal. think, How I, dare you, you know, marching, like it, it, but I can say this though too, when you do embrace the king, I'm an individual that has been set free by an act of a benevolent savior not because I'm great and wonderful and I do everything, then it it frees you to be you even when you don't feel a certain way. You just know who you are. So you say, what am I doing? As a teacher, when it, I, I, there's nothing different about my personality 
and my point of view when I'm in the class. I cannot enumerate for you how I conduct my classroom to empower any, if you're black, white, or anything. It, it really doesn't have to change. The idea is, like, for example, when we, every one of my classes starts off, every one of my classes starts off with, I believe in myself and my ability to learn. Mm -hmm. I embrace challenges and mistakes because they help me learn. I can learn. I will learn. I must learn. And I go on and on. It's all these different things. So as an individual, I believe the stuff I'm saying to you. Yeah. So anyone who encounters me, you can't get away with giving yourself an excuse to fail. Yeah, I, won't, I will always come at you in that way and as an individual that's all I can do so as a man you are instilling in the people coming behind anybody. you anybody I am setting an example that right the youth coming yes, behind yes. you that they they have whatever they need that they're to, valuable yeah. Yeah. And, and, and not just in what I say but even in how in, in, in how I treat my young male students even in my classroom mm -hmm. my young male students I love responding to them yes sir I love to I love to apologize in front of my class when I yeah, know I, I you know mm -hmm. come back to a student who I knew I was in my feelings and I mm -hmm. kind of was extra these are the things you do to let them know that just because I have a position does not mean mm -hmm. I've got I, I'm so yeah. so but it's what I'm just what I'm getting at is that every individual you're only responsible to do your individual part right? exactly mm -hmm. but that's why what y'all doing in y'all household is the right thing, y'all. Well, well, what what is he doing? Going on, man. We he... eat hippies. Seamoles. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but that's a big part of your emotions. That's a big part of it. How you think about yourself. How you eat. Yeah. How you eating. It's, yeah. Listen, people are feeling certain ways about themselves. Because of what because they're feeling. Because of what they're eating. A lot of people are depressed. I think I think what what you touched on, what you touched on, and you know what we all, like you said, we doing, I think what it does is it provides a sense of direction mm. that like you said you may not have had for 30 years mm -hmm. your son not gonna have to deal with that exactly. he's gonna have and that one you know what i'm saying yeah. he ain't gonna have to do this for a long period of time and then be like oh now i got it mm -hmm. you know what i mean he gonna you know exactly. and i think that's i really think that's more that's of very very important man yeah especially with your offspring because if we and really are lost students, out here, man because so what are you doing i don't i yeah. didn't want to skip over you oh come on kid. i was trying to go away no. No. <laughs> no. But you, if you don't, but if you don't think about it in terms of some role that people say you should have, because as a quantity, as an entity, when you think about that, you can really find what you are personally doing. You know, it's. I understand what you're saying. You know what he's doing. He's just being a butthole, man. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, no, tell man, us, what are, you, what's, what are you doing? Man, we do a lot of different things. Me personally, mm -hmm. you know, as a active father. Yeah, you know, I try to. I try to give my kids certain principles that I know are going to be valuable to them. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we overlook the fact that, like you said, affirmations and just mm -hmm. words that you, words are powerful. Yes, yes. they are. They, they, it's spelling. It's it spells. Spelling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, it, it, it like I said, it's powerful and it can be very beneficial to especially a young, impressionable mind. Right. You know, how you yeah. build that foundation exactly. with words. Yeah. yeah. You know, so one of the things that, you know, I do with my kids, you know, I ask them, you know, what's what's the three things they've got to have with them at all times, you know, and I have them tell me, mm. you know, sometimes they get it wrong. Sometimes they want it. What is it? Integrity, mm. confidence and leadership. Mm, that's that's just one thing. That's one thing. Yeah, no, I'm that bar there. I love that. I got it from somebody else. Now you got to do it. Now you got to do it on the computer. I saw it. I got it from somebody. That's good though. I was like, man, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? The idea that you have to have that with you everywhere you go. That's good. It's easy for them to understand and grasp it. Yeah. Because the definitions we had. We the definitions are simple. Yeah. Like, we have them repeat the definition yeah. of it to us, and yeah. then... And it's, that's you know, good. And it's yeah. something that they'll, you know... Like, a lot of times, I, I didn't realize this, and it goes back to what you are saying about having the parents that love each other and all that. I didn't realize it was a lot of stuff that my parents were saying that... You weren't saying. At the time, it was... I thought it was going in one end out the yeah. other. Mm -hmm. But then later on... It, I came back to it. I got you. It was yeah. there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So in certain situations, yeah. I was like, I went back to what they said, and I was like, dang, you know what? I'm not going to do this, or I'm going to go this way, right. or I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? That made me understand, like, dang, you know what? That's that's important for children. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because yeah. a lot of times, 
you need direction. You need guidance. Mm-hmm. Oh, and in our community, we just don't have don't, that. A lot of us even don't when have parents are in the house. They don't guide their children. children. No, they don't. It's, it's, a, they it's, don't. A, it's, a, it's, a it's something that's overlooked. Yeah. yeah. I, it's, I, it's, it's, because now both of the parents are at work. Because of everything that we've been talking about. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a lot of different I, that, it's it's a lot of different right. systems. Scenario. Yeah. Well, the mom want to go out and party still. Oh, we got so much, you know what I'm so many other priorities that yeah. don't need to be priorities. Exactly. Really, you know, so. so Like I said, that's just one thing. Well, I try to be talking about You look looking at some nation building. But listen, yeah. being a father, <laughs> is the, right. listen, the being, a, I'm being, I'm being a father, actually being in your children's life as a man is the greatest man, that's a thing that you thing. can do. Yes, it's, 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 it can, it can, sometimes when you're doing it, though, when you're committed to that role, just like when you're committed to being a mom, mm-hmm. it can there's there's this thing called the pride of life. There's something in us that feels like I know it's good, but you know I, you want your life. To, sometimes you want your life to speak for something. A lot of people look at raising children as we know it's noble. It's almost like teachers. Mm-hmm. They'll tell us, oh, "I'm so proud of you." Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. They they show you how much they pay. Yeah. They show you how much they pay. But the point is, it's the same thing with parenting sometimes. But at the end of the day, that literally is the most important. And I tell you, any teacher will tell you. It's not just two parents that's just got the same kid. That's co-parenting. They, they hate each other. The kid's going to be probably just as, as bad. If you can have both parents, but if the parents ain't getting along and there's mm-hmm. issues going on, that kid going to come to school. Mm-hmm. Just, it's, it's going to trigger you. Trigger. Trigger. It's, going it's when they are on agreement. It's when you're in agreement yeah. about your children, about what you value. And they, parents know that y'all on the same team. That kid, I mean, those meeting those kids, they are kind of an anomaly, but that's the most important thing you can actually do as a man is to be there. We try to minimize. Have the you guys fact taught? That anomaly. Have you yeah, guys since, to, right? Since Crystal. you guys are teachers, have you guys taught other races of people and seen the vast difference, or if there is any vast difference between uh, children that's so called black versus children that are? That's a good question. Oh, I love this question. Uh, have we seen differences? I used to. I used to. When I first started teaching, yeah. because uh, when I first started teaching African kids, mm-hmm. their parents were so strict. Mm-hmm. Like they would, I had kids would literally cry. Like you no, they would be pulling you. Like please, don't no, call. on their knees, mm-hmm. please, wow. no. My parents said they gonna send me back to Africa. <laughs> 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 Do it. Right. If they would do it, they, you're if not they was acting up or they wasn't doing yeah. what they were supposed to do. You're not appreciating this experience here in America. Right, right. You need to go back Damn. to Africa. Okay. And then the kids would be back. I mean, literally. Please, please. And guess please, what? The statistics please. show African, not African Americans, Africans in terms of their pay throughout their life livelihoods, greater than African Americans. African Americans are trailing Africans, Asians. Whites and even to a, even to a small degree, even Hispanics in some in some degree. Are we going to say that's a result of melanin? We're going to say that's a result of some kind of genetic um, um, uh, predisposition? Absolutely not. It isn't. It is a it is an it is a matter of the the kind of way we define parenting and relationships. What we see feeding our black culture right now. Are people having arrangements, over, and, and children just happen to be involved in it? You can look at it in all of our, um, all of our, um, what do you call them, the reality television shows. You see, just people. I mean, it could, it's just the, it's just like it's in now. You just have a baby with somebody that's famous, and it's almost like byproduct, like you said. It's, that's and, and, all and they sexual, got. and sex is transactional, yeah, transactional. transactional yeah. and, and listen, I'm not some kind of proof. Listen, uh, God knows, I need Jesus every. I need you every hour. I'm not, but I'm saying, as in terms of a training kind of situation, we got to look at our own. We got to look at what we have embraced from what we call the, the white devil, what mm-hmm. we have taken on from our oppressor, and now we're doing the same thing. Well, that I will say. But what was the difference? Though? Yeah, more. What about you? After the difference she of what. What your students like you said yeah, you said Africans you still need to oh yeah I'm going back now uh, now I'm finding that African children they still are a lot more disciplined in, they, in some ways but they have been Americanized they, they've been indoctrinated I was about to say it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so so much, much. They've been programmed. they are they, almost just like and so they, mm. In so many ways, just like African American kids. Because look, the the look what's going on mm-hmm. in Nigeria. Look at what's going on in Nigeria. I mean, and the same thing is happening in the Hispanic communities too. Hispanic oh, communities, yeah. those Hispanic kids, yeah. 
They get when when I first years ago, they were so disciplined <laughs> and would not mess <laughs> up in the classroom. <laughs> well, we are listen. We are we are exporting that toxic culture around the world. That's what's happening. I'm telling you. It's well, the this is the this is the fourth part of the world, man. Just it, it, it's spoken about in Revelation, man. And you know the Roman Catholic Church definitely has a major influence on us. Especially when Let me I'm tell religion. you, you you're with way deep. I'm talking about the. Yeah, I'm talking man. about pop culture. No, but what I'm saying is that we. I love talking about that. I love talking about American American culture <laughs> is like the influence all over the world. Right. Period. Mm -hmm. Even when you go to Japan, even when you go to hip hop. Well, well, I mean, yeah. like even K-pop. I, mean, I mean, you think about the pop, yeah, about K -pop. all of that shit, man. And it's the so, same thing there. So, like, that's Japan. One thing I've been in Chinese schools because uh, I visited China with some uh, students, and those kids are like machines. What, like they're not out of uniform. Because it's communist China. Yeah, that's why they wear the colors Japan they're supposed to wear. It is ironed the way that they are sitting the way they're right. supposed to sit. I mean, I walked through with my kids, and they literally. Look like robots compared to. I mean, they were smiling, you know, for pictures or whatever. But they still, I mean, very robotic compared yeah, that's to. A, that's about China, right? Or discipline. They're they yeah. they they yeah. they yeah. 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 I mean, that's, that's, but that's yeah. what they're trying to that's do. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're trying to get. I'm, I'm saying our influence is not in. Oh yeah. That our style has, but in terms of in terms of in TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, no, yeah. Like, no, yeah. Like, no, yeah. Policies and stuff. Hell no, 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 no. Not the, not the infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. just the, everything else. Yeah, they listen to Wu Tang Clan like right. Right. Oh, they love. They <laughs> love. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't say something that anywhere our what when anywhere popular culture gets its grip on the young. It's a wrap. It turns them all. So it's something in the. It's something in the things that they're feeding us. Think about it. Music is one thing, but it's the music that they're feeding us that's, the thing. that's intended and to that's, do it. And that's what I was you know, getting to. Dance is something. It's that's wonderful. What, and that's what I was getting to. But it's the type of dance we do. Because the only thing that we ex, the only thing that we export now as America is, is that pop culture. Mm -hmm. And that pop culture what what's uh what's uh, Satan's nickname? The Prince of the Airwaves. Mm -hmm. You understand Prince what I'm saying? So we he's Prince of the Airwaves. Prince of the yeah. Power of the Air, yeah. Yeah. I never knew that. Oh yeah. Why is he the oh, music? He was oh, a chief the, musician. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah, he was a chief musician. All that in yeah, heaven, man. Okay. So he he uses this. Music. When I was younger, I didn't, I didn't that, fucking. I, I didn't agree with the lady who was stumping on the hip hop CDs. I was like, man, get out of here with that shit, man. Oh wow. You know, mm -hmm. but now as a grown ass man, I'm looking at damn. But it's far worse C. than that. Lewis Tucker. This shit, yeah, see yeah. the Lewis Tucker. I'm like, yeah. damn, she was on to something back then. Yeah, but, they know, but they all, no, she, they so know, yeah, they, yeah. they read the documents where, listen, these, the culture, that, everything that we are now embracing has been planned. There's nothing that yeah. has not been planned. Yeah. So even there are actual documents. I can't get the MK Ultra, where you, all that type and of shit, even man. the, um, the uh, Marxist manifesto, they literally go into the practical things they have to do to transform a society. And part of that is feeding us junk culture, junk yeah. music. Junk food, junk everything. this, everything's just junk. And that's why it's I always say we don't have a culture. We participate in something that's given to us. Yeah, we just yeah, a reactionary. We just make that junk better. We just make that junk better. We just make that junk better. Yeah, we put the sauce on the junk. We put, we put yeah, that seasoning on the junk. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we talked about it a few weeks back, but last year she had a presentation on her culture, oh, yeah. and oh, after coming home and discussing with her parents. Did she show up with anything, or is she just? Yeah, we we so that's part of what we're doing in our house. We're creating a culture, tradition yeah. okay. Okay. and culture. Yeah. This is what this is what our children will know their lifestyle to be. This mm -hmm. is what our family does. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, it'll extend further out into their grandparents, and they'll know. But they'll tell their kids, and this is—I mean, if this is where it has to start for yeah. us to so keep going, it. then so be it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but that's not enough. We we created something to say these are the traditions we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what focus. we do. This is what we do. This is what okay. we do. It may not be all black people, but this is what we do. Uh, okay, and eventually, I'm thinking it'll grow into something more, right? And she'll be able to add on to it. And and so were her brothers. I mean, it will be it it will be beneficial in the end. Yeah. But we had to start something because we didn't have. I didn't have any 
no garments or, or yeah. flag to give a, you know, right. to take into school to, you know what I'm saying, for her to show or showcase the food yeah. we eat. I mean, yeah. I can show her what we are doing now yeah. is it's our funny. culture. Yeah, we were just talking about this yep. early. I was like, man, you know what? Like, it's a, it's a, it's a tough thing to wrap your mind around and, and know, like, I have to deal with this. But I was like, man, for real, for real. We the ones that's gonna have to right all these it's wrongs. wrongs. Yeah. Just even in in our just family our structure. immediate family yeah. structure. There's yeah. so many Within wrongs. Within your family. family. Yes. yes. Like, no, no, I'm saying we that. gonna have to so, do it. We gonna have to you sacrifice, entity, yeah. do all the sacrifices yeah. to make it so that people that after us don't have but that, to do it. But, but that is the that is literally the explanation that your when you tell your children I mean, you, you one of the words you use was leadership that they must go. That's leadership. Leadership is doing first. That's leadership right. is going where no one else has gone. Leadership is enduring in a path that no one else. That's what leadership is. And the greatest leaders are those who not who who did just learn it by parroting what they what they've heard, but living it out. That's what you you're telling your children, and you're living it out. And it's tough. Oh, but and it, oh, and then, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, tough. No and but. this is why so many people. This is why so many people are abdicating their responsibility. And this is really why we are having. We're seeing the, the the what we call the inequities. The inequities. I'm telling you, all the research is not. It is not something genetic. It literally is. We have we have bought into a culture that it's harder for us it's to. Not yeah, and it's harder for us to. The children. It's hard to tell your child. Not to be a part of a culture that when they go into a public school, which we, which, thank you, AG Barr, talking about how racist that system is. When you go in there as a kid who is cultured, you are going to be bullied. You are going to be a, uh, it's, you're going to stand out in certain schools. But it still has to be done. But my point is, is that it must be done. But the thing is, even in your preparation, this is the reality. This is also the reason why we're not creating those types of kids in, in mass because it is such a fight among ourselves nice. to project what really works. We say that what works is white. They didn't learn it by themselves. They learned it from the Moors. They learned everything, even slavery. They learned, let's just be real about it, you do your history, they learned uh, 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 forced religion, uh, state religion. That is not something that Rome did first. They did not learn that first. They learned a lot of these things from us in term and also clean cleanliness and family structure they well, learned I mean, it from if us. you look at it just from a, a basic level who make everything better like who who really put the sauce on everything i'm not trying to you know right. damn but it's serious re- yeah, realistically who make everything it's like oh man salt once they get earth, a hold man. of it this shit gonna be better the scriptures, man. Food, we are the salt and the music man. that's what i'm saying if we put that seasoning that's on seasoning. everything so that Chocolate tells you right salt, here man. you shouldn't be Following the bland shit, we got the we got it. Yeah. You got that. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. You be all right. But it's, it's, you you're not gonna blend in with them. But the, you know, you know what, what the other but problem the cream is? Cream rises to the top. <laughs> but you know what the other problem is? Like they were saying, like he was saying, when you when you have that culture in your household, you see, and you send your child to it's that like sending them to prison. It's, man, they they competing against. It's tough. It ain't. This is not even a competition. This is like. They trying to focus on what they got to do to please you guys because y'all are parents mm-hmm. that are doing the right thing. But then they got paper flying in the air and that's just... And most all kinds of stuff. I'm just being modest. Yeah. They got shit going all over the place. You said you need a bunch of sugar for breakfast. That's amazing. I mean, they showing each other. Let me get some. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's literally what happens. I will say this, literally. When the... Pan, when the my daughter is a competitive gymnast, mm. she um, you know practices four times a week, almost twenty hours a week. You know she's in there, right? For the longest time, I did not understand why she had a gut. And yes, I monitor my child's food intake because no one did it for me, and I needed to learn those things. Like mm. no one told me the importance of. How you eat as a woman. Right. There's things you need to be mindful of. Wow. So, anyways, I monitor hers. When the pandemic happened and school shut down, <laughs> she stopped. Yeah. Shawty got a she, six pack. She had a six pack. I'm talking about su- in like two weeks. I was like, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, I'm just, no, I'm not even exaggerating. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not either. No, she, she had, had a six pack in a, two weeks, and I was like, you lost weight, like. And I realized 
whatever the shit she was eating at school, the mm. snacks, because I didn't give a shit. And they said, oh, and they were telling the kids to sell it. She that. don't get, no, she don't I, get school I, lunch. I, don't, I don't let my children eat school lunch. But the lunch. thing is, I pack it for like them. you said, they going to the wolves. Right. They going to jail. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. got your friend yeah. got Doritos. Yeah. 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 And it's not yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's what the schools are allowing. So then you have healthy food. Like, I'm telling you, we cook some very, I mean, I teach him at Samuel Ogle Middle School right in PG County. When I was in Samuel Ogle. Oh, man. Yeah, good school. Well, it is. When I, when I first started, when it's, it's gone. Oh, okay. And, and guess what? Let's have most and let's be honest. Oh, we have things. all black leaders. <laughs> you gonna blur out? You gonna blur out the name of the school? Mommy not to send my kids to Samuel. Allegedly. 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 We gonna start that over. We gonna blur out this whole. They still allow all these vending. It's explicit. These vending machines. We don't own those vending machines. So, in other words, in the school system, this racist system, mm-hmm. they'll tell you on one hand, when Ms. Michelle Obama coming in there, giving all them kids a bland food that they was not enjoying, they wasn't eating. I'm going to be real with you. They were not eating all that healthy initiative so, stuff. So they, were wa- bad about they were wasting so much food. Because you had to give it to them. You, but the point I'm making is... I'm sti- a supporter of that. Of course you are. Uh, but at the end of the day, they are letting in those vending machines healthy, too. Uh, Oh, okay. healthy food. And guess oh, what's okay. happening? They're, they're not eating them, and, they're, and when they, and when you and when you the vending machines is coming and up, and that becomes oh, the alternative. Right. That beca- this is what happened. And it was like that when we was in school. Well, first yeah. of all, in some districts, I, I will say vending be. machines have I'm been uh, banned. And this district, no, they haven't been. But and in they, the my, the district that I'm currently in, there's no vending <laughs> machines for students. And they say they make them healthy, but guess what? When you see those vending, I look at the kids. Listen, I'll be in. I'm gonna have have cafeteria duty in the morning. Those I will catch kids literally looking at the vending machine like I'm yeah. about to get you in about two hours. We can't, we can't go in the morning. Oh yeah, uh, but we so have them on the timer. All the so school up in the cafeteria for breakfast. All this, I mean, they be making all kinds of good. And, I mean, it be, they don't want none know, of that. They don't want none of. They don't want the healthy wheat thing. All and all that's what they're trying to do. All they're looking at is those. But who's letting those vending machines in? We don't own that. These are private contractors. That is what the system does. Yeah. It's who they contract into our schools that shows you what their values really are. It's not what they I sell. don't. I, we don't have any, like I said, vending machines for students in our building. There are some buildings that don't have vending machines at all, even for teachers. Um, but I will say, for me, I've seen that Michelle Obama, and I hope it doesn't go away. Did you say they did away with it? Well, they need to, they started. Oh, okay. Prayerfully, they won't. In my, because in my community, the, first of all, my community is a food desert. Mm. So I'm going to be honest. I was learning about some foods that Michelle Obama was program was sending into my school. I had never had an Asian pair before. And when I tell you that thing, first of all, it's $5 <laughs> for one. Or Thank something. you. But they managed to send uh, 500 to our school. Yeah, 500. But, but I'm, that thing was the juiciest pair. And I was just <laughs> it was, the juice was rolling down my arm. I That's felt good. like I was one it's of the kids. Right like I mean, and it's not but, all bad. It's good to introduce them to good yeah, food. Yeah, so was that, many. Was that being organic? Well, I don't know, but but unless the I parents. But my point is, is that stick. in a food stick. desert, that, that, that is that important. But it's not going to stick. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Once they leave out that food desert, they're going to go to that little corner store where they can afford, and they're going to go right back to the to, to the old mm-hmm. vomit. It's because again. Gov- the problem with what happened in the '60s with Lyndon Johnson is government replaced the family. The you had to trust when you you know, especially as African Americans, we had to trust our own. You know, we had to trust our parents, our fathers, and our mothers to provide for the family. When the government comes in, they say, "We got you. Y'all not y'all don't know how to feed our children. We'll feed it, and we'll we'll." Concentrate all of these programs in our schools, but again, once they leave that school, they're gonna go right back to their homes where it's not gonna be reinforced, and we're gonna see the inequities. We're you're right. Saying, you're right. More money. To a point. But at least, at least with Michelle Obama's program, two times a day, because these kids are eating breakfast and lunch at school. Two times a day, they get their fresh fruit initiative. Hold up. You know. Lunch ain't been free and reduced. No, 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 no. She said fresh. Fresh food, fresh we, food. Not, not. I'm saying with this program, at least two times. We st- we, yeah, we give, we give them fresh. Yeah. Food. I mean, yes. At least two times a day, they're getting some kind of fresh. You know, that's breakfast and lunch. And so, if they gotta go home and eat takis for dinner, then that's. What I'm what, saying, you what's, know. I'm sorry, to cut you off, but what what constitutes fresh food? Like, what is what is it so only getting that they weren't program, getting before? 
Because I'm trying to figure out. Well, school's canned, been giving away food. Canned foods, you know, they were getting That's vegetables. That's not fresh. No, but no, saying I'm saying Obama now they right. get through Michelle it's Obama. Obama. Oh, it's not okay. fresh food. They're like, getting not. literally raw sometimes of okay. fruits and vegetables gotcha. to okay. try. Versus and canned it's, food. Versus, versus the canned stuff that, that you would gotcha. just it's get in bad. the cafeteria. Okay. The problem with the government is not it's not that government has bad intent. Well, some of t- most times they do. But even in their selling of a program, it's not that the intention is bad. You're saying it's so they it can can't rely be, on the It can't be sustained. The government cannot cannot do it they which will is, which is on purpose which is the, on purpose and they and know that so they can and say you know we've, we've like done it. enough yeah. we've done enough we've, we've you know we've given fresh term. food but at the end of the day they know that outside of that what's going to determine what that kid actually in terms of what that their dietary practices are is going to be determined by what do they see most of their life yeah. what's on the top of their refrigerator they're just is trying it, to check the box for the surface level yeah whatever everything is it is something healthy level. or is everything it food is i know level. but let me play devil's advocate here okay. right and so someone <laughs> who maybe um never would have gotten interested in that right right could 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 have it seep into them to the point where they would like to try it again. They don't always have to have the rotten cereal. Oh, you know what I'm saying? The sugar cereal, yeah, whatever the case. Like, nah. They, could, they could want to do it better. It could affect change. Yeah. It could. It, it, it maybe change. two kids. Maybe not yeah, all of them, right. but maybe two Listen, or something. that's my point, but how is that equity? This is all I'm trying to say. They'll tell you that we're promoting equity. And at the end yeah, of the day, I mean, but now I'm my not point, it's with not that. Yeah, it's not equity, but yeah, it's I know, I know what you're no. saying, but I'm saying well, on it's the better than nothing. It, it, it's it better could than help. Yeah, yeah. You're saying it's One better child. than nothing, but when you're putting that, what I'm saying is when the government is putting their money towards that, but then neglecting the real work that's going to really it's all, right. on a, it's all you, on the surface. You know what I'm saying? Stuff, it's though, just you like know? you know, and guess who's really guess who's really benefiting from these programs it's the people that are contracting yeah, that whose farms are contracting with yeah. that and blah 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 but it's not trickling into the actual homes of the people of those kids right. I mean, so I it's like you yeah, it's you get the same it, inequity it's a few people might get it's the a finesse that's what you're trying I mean, to say. And I feel proud because two out of the 200 did do it. So I feel, no, that's wrong. We talk, we're talking about inequity. That's inequity. I hear what you're saying. And that's, that's, that is true. But in the in the fucked up world that it is, I'm happy with the two. So, okay, so that that's, <laughs> so, I mean, I hate to be that yeah, person. Yeah, but I mean, right. I, I know what you're saying. And it's not enough. Just the same I'm not way even as, saying it's not enough. You know, I'm just saying, so let's people stop people acting like we are really in a fight. For, and that's but, what I'm saying. As black people, let's stop acting like we're really in this fight. Or like the like anybody's offering us some kind of plan that's going to bring equity. Anyone who tells you that, I'm not and really I'm just saying in general, any politician for people who you've got to vote very soon in about what seventy nine days or so. Any politician that's promoting a policy that is going to bring equity, they're lying to you. It is not able to be done. What's going to happen is it's going to look good on the surface. D.C. public schools are bringing in fresh fruit, and guess who's eating it? Those two kids you just talked about. It's the same elite two (laughs) kids that you say when we take them out of the public schools and put them in the charter schools. We say, oh, that's not good because then only a few kids get that. We fight against charter schools because we don't want to select few kids getting that privilege of having a, a smaller structured environment because they're what about all the rest of them? But then we won't say that for those two kids who get that fruit, <laughs> who learn something from all this money they're putting into these programs. Only two kids are really getting the benefit from it. But we good with that because it's a Democrat party. Because people are dumb. I mean, in general, day, I mean, it is just what it that's is. Really <laughs> that's I really hate really to be that down person. Down. That's why I was. Right. I, and not I, even just. Everybody, it's a shit. lot of dumb people. Yeah, it's a lot of smart dumb people. It's, it's like, a lot of um, smart dumb, smart dumb ass smart. niggas. They're yeah. smart. No, I, I really, ignorance smart. is bliss. It's yeah, pure it is. Yeah, ignorance is joy. Ignorance. No, no, I it's agree. Not. It's bliss, it's man. Because people are happy in their ignorance. They're happy. And they think oh, the minute you disturb, yes, because yeah. the minute you disturb it is where they become uncomfortable <laughs> right. and it becomes hard yeah. for them. Yeah, and then when you say, hey, man, listen. That ain't right. Man, get out of here with that. Yep. What you, you talking about? Yeah. You know James Baldwin said to be a black person in America is to be enraged at all times. Do you guys know that? I'm in <laughs> And speaking to your point, um, if you're not then, according to Baldwin, if you're not enraged all the time, then you must be in some form of ignorance. You just a zombie. Yeah. You're a sheep. Yes. You're a sheep. You're a sheep just out here like, man. I've been a sheep though. Like I'm I'm still learning. Like I hear things from Kevin's side. Like I will say I'm I've not ready. Well. I'm not ready to vote for Donald Trump. 
I'm not that's voting. But I'm also not ready to vote for Biden and. I can respect that. Vote for. So my mom told. I don't know if she shared this, but my mom told me a story. She has a friend who had a son who was murdered by. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. She did tell us about yeah. that. Yeah. So. Um, so Miss Kamala. Yeah, but so that story is closer to home. But Go ahead I, and tell the story for the well, viewers. Well, for our viewers, um, the friend, the friend's son was killed by the police. Uh, the, my mom's friend received a settlement and from, from the, the state, state. state. Okay. and but the that's prosecutor the just, at the, the time what that's the only justice we get is the money. oh okay the money it pay off justice right. but go ahead care keep but, going. but the prosecutor at the time was kamala hmm. uh harris and she refused Listen up, y'all. to prosecute the police who did it although there was a, a settlement and there was um, footage, right? That yeah, they, she they suppressed they the shot. They she suppressed beat him up, the, then stood over and shot him. She suppressed him. the uh, evidence too. And, so, and, and listen, that's what they're talking I about she even did. today. Yes, yeah, she did. The, but what's so funny about this is I've seen people uh, uh, type about this in articles. I have, I've, and I've I didn't know it was this close to home. Oh, yeah, right. listen, Miss Toby to 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 Gabble, Gabble, when names in the face, she confronted on that. She concealed. Evidence, not just in this case. This probably was one of the cases she was talking about. Yeah, that's the exact case she was talking about. She's, I mean, she, I'm telling you, not only that, she didn't prosecute one case of uh, pedophilia in San Francisco. You know how liberal and how... You talking about that's the mecca for the homosexual lifestyle. The all liberal the homosexual. Yeah, all that. Yeah, the white ones. Yeah, because Atlanta is the one. All for these smart ones. dumb people. <laughs> out here. Right. All, the, all <laughs> these smart <laughs> dumb people out here focused on whether or not she black. And yeah, she ain't even because had. she put some hot sauce. Allegedly. On well, no. She her birth certificate says white Caucasian. No, it's no. I, let me tell you. I don't I, know let me tell you something. I you bet you. Let me tell you. Just don't say race. Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. I saw her one. I've seen it. Joe Judge Joe Brown posted it. Seen, and I person? bet you she said she was Indian to get into in Howard. I bet you. I, I I don't even know this, but I Just promise you, she said. I promise you, she pro- knowing her character, how she is a opportunist. She, I promise you, we would find a record of what she selected as her race to get into Howard. She didn't go into Howard as no black woman. She got some oh, extra money as, a, as, as an Indian person. American, Indian oh, American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, trust that's, me, that's she used that. I, she I don't know. I don't know did, but you know, she's I a phony. Do, Here I she go. Know. Here she she go. She's a black woman. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. She went to Howard. That's all that matters. And that's how you get smart. She's an AKA Democrat. And Republicans are. Listen. You can't say I nothing mean, about anybody I, in their party. I can't relate to Donald Trump at all. And I think you can't. I've already said no. In what ways? We already said it. Okay. You oh, I, do, right? I do agree with him. Let on me agree. ask you something. Yeah, what what you agree? Agree? Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> what did you say? Don't repeat that. <laughs> do not repeat that. <laughs> it's a joke, man. Do I don't know. I didn't get it. We grabbed him in the pussy. He grabbed it. You oh said you can't relate. You can't he relate. Said. I said you got a vagina, right? Have you ever grabbed it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's a bad joke. Yeah, that was a bad joke. <laughs> That's why I said don't repeat it. I said don't repeat it. Gavin, you got something for your boy there? <laughs> nah. Now, so. I, 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 Kamala Harris is relatable to me as the a uh, identity. Oh, Lord. The identity oh, well, because y'all just went to yeah, we get to, it's an identity. We went to the same together, school. But oh, we went okay. to the same school. And you know this. It's a network. You know this as well. Man, she ain't so, checking for you, man. You know, I'm just not saying. This so that makes her relatable? Because I don't, want, identity politics. I don't want to say that. Are, AKA, you I'm, identify with She's this. black. I'm I mean, scared to say that because what if a ring of pedophiles went to Bowie State. Right. And I'd be like, you know like, what? You know what? Fuck it. They went to Bowie State. They Bowie right? State. Right, right. I know so what? I'm scared to make a statement like, I identify with her because they went to my school. Oh, and, and she, she that's cool. different. And Did she you cool. know that they're in the ring of pedophiles? But no, you no, know no, her I'm history I'm just saying, you like, you don't know no, 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 I just learned what I shared. I just, she, that's new to me. But she's still a POS, that's, that's, that's not enough. That she's the eight. No, she, no, she, she suppressed she, that evidence. You have, and I have a, that's good. But the alternative is voting for Trump. So are you ready to vote for Donald Trump? That's why I said I'm not voting. I am working on my personal family. Neither one of them. None there of them go. are trying to help my personal there you go. family. There's nothing. That's the best answer. There's no As a business laws. owner, you think that I would, no I would, dis- I would push up, I would push it back against oh, you. Really 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 <laughs> <point. It's laughs> no, I'm the, the idea as a, a as a person. small business owner, as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, right. to think that the policies. I mean, I talk, we gotta think pre-COVID. If you think right. that, if you think that Donald Trump caused 
the 170 deaths, 1,000 deaths, as they want you to say, then of course there's nothing you can say to redeem Donald You're Trump. Talking about COVID? No, yeah, I'm just thinking, because what oh, I'm saying okay. is that there was a world pre COVID. Oh, okay. There was an environment, a business environment pre COVID. There was a regulation environment pre COVID that I believe was more in favor of you as an, a young African American entrepreneur than in any other, under any other president. Based on policies he put in place. Because of the, no, based on the lack of the, the taking away of the regulation so you can get your business started and get it going without having to go through all of the Rick and Monroe to try to get it done. And that's what he put in place. Course, that's what any Republican, that, now one thing about Republicans is that Republicans in general yeah. deregulate. Yeah. We just tend to deregulate. It's like, it, it, you know, we had certain, for example, there, it could take you 10 years to build a road in a certain city because of all of the different bureaucracies you had to go to to get a kind of uh, uh, what do you permit. call it? A permit. I mean you have to go to this License. one, then that one takes you to that one. All of that he like, cut out the right, way. That's enough of all that. Just build the road. But here's the thing with that, man. <laughs> yeah. This is why I disagree. And so. Partially, man. Because that deregulation, man, sometimes that don't come back to bite you in the ass, man. Because when I worked at an environmental protection agency, people used to call up there all the time when Bush was in office because he deregulated a lot of shit mm -hmm. and they was dumping a lot of fucked up shit in the waters and they was doing because a whole bunch because of the deregulation. That's going on now too. And it's still going on today. In I'm the sure. Gulf. I'm still yeah. that little video with all the animals uh, the and oh, wildlife yeah, and stuff that's that some washed so, up. I'm not saying that's Donald Trump. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, but I mean, it, I mean, I'm not saying anything. It's pr I'm just saying the concept that you can either have the government tell you that it's, it's going to make it harder for you to get started mm -hmm. or make it easier for you to get started and then you do have situations where you have certain powerful people that abuse that you have those right. you know you have spills and but, things of that nature but, but but that's why I always say to like because I would go on a Democrat in a heartbeat you know what I'm saying I have these discussions with my uncle all the time we be like low key battling mm -hmm. back and forth <laughs> he sent me something I sent him something mm -hmm. he think I'm a Trump supporter because mm -hmm. everything I send him is in opposition. Is in opposition to Democrats, mm -hmm. but I'm telling him, I'm like, one or the other. I'm not a Demo I'm not a Republican either, yeah. because yeah. I look at it as a bird with two wings. It's an eagle. That. One wing is a Democrat, and one wing is a Republican, and they both flying ahead. Man, my father just said that. You understand what I'm saying? Thing. And that's what <laughs> I look at it, man. <laughs> and and the scriptures. Video. The scriptures, it tells you. We know that. But it tells you you're not supposed to vote for anybody that's not your brother, man. Especially if they're not uh -oh. a person. Don't, don't say that. Especially if they're not the person. Especially well, if they don't believe. <laughs> especially if you don't, if they don't believe sister. in the same principles that you believe in. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to be honest. The principles I believe in right now is canceling student loan debt. And Okay, so what you're looking for. And okay. marijuana. <laughs> So those people, <laughs> now she was right. very staunch on legalizing oh, right. <laughs> marijuana. Now, if, if those are the issues that are well, that's right. what's important to Kamala, your life, I'm not Kamala, was, Kamala, was, Kamala was very staunch on uh, persecuting or prosecuting yeah, a lot of marijuana smokers. Now she's and then persecuted. she had an audacity to laugh when she asked and her. She she but now she's now she's before. now she's for decriminalizing it now. Um, but I would push back on this idea of you know. Um, there are instances of abuse. I'm just saying when you start knowing as I think if you are someone who has a small business or you're someone who tend people who tend to go are business people who tend to think like that tend to be a little bit more conservative in terms of how they deal with their money and, and investments they and things. Well, you I think the thing is, I, I, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's it's all the other bullshit that come with it. You know what I'm saying? That example. may not necessarily benefit. You know what I mean? I'm not speaking on Trump in general. No, I'm talking about said, all of them. I don't know everything about Trump. I'm no, no I'm expert. Talking about all, I'm talking about all these politicians is always... A finesse. A finesse. But guess what? The point is, is that... You vote for the best one that's no, going to no, benefit it's, you it's, the most? If you focus on, for example, when Policy? you focus on the policies that benefit you. Like, if you, you got to look at the policies and really... There are a lot of things, I believe, that even under a president that you don't agree with that you could benefit from that you just totally not even turn on to because you're just not... Involved in the process of getting the things that the government says that we, we will allow you to have. There are a lot of benefits, perks, you know, things that we just don't even try to understand because we're just so busy doing things the way we know how to do them. And I, I just, you know, that's just how I look at it when it comes to, you know, to business or Republican. I feel you, man. You're saying because of that, because I'm a business owner. I should be, and you because you're married, and because you are traditional. I'm telling you, you are more concerned. You're probably gonna be more 
Well, I realize I'm more conservative. You're going to be aligned more so with conservative principles uh, yeah, no, that no, are no, being no. pushed by I'm this president. Sure I'm pretty sure I am. I'm yeah. pretty That's sure all that. I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not. Most, sa- not most sane to black people. Donald Trump. It's, it's not that I'm not willing to vote for him. Or he, he still, I still haven't done the proper research to secure my vote. Mm. Mm. I, I can't say that I, I feel comfortable enough with any of them. But it's hard with Donald Trump because you don't know what's right. What, you know, what, that's what, a point that you made. I with am anybody, very, that's very true. With, but, that's but I'm with talking any specifically with Trump. Let me tell you what's about Trump because nobody even right and left. It's hard, it's hard to find what is true and with with him. There, there was an article even today on Facebook where it was fact-checked where everyone knows that this was the, actually the truth, but because they're, so, they're fact-checking his tweets, people do not... You got to ask yourself, why is it that they want to silence and censor anything that, that is coming from that side of the aisle today? Why do they only want you to hear it? They're trying to silence everything now, man. No, they're not. But, uh, well, they no, 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 no. You can go on you Twitter right that, now no, and hear about... No, no, no. I'm talking about Islam that's, that's, is on there. No, no, no. I'm talking about anything that's... That's going to benefit us. Thank you. As a, well, as a people. To Kevin's point, he actually said this a couple of days ago, where when he goes to look for things or articles you can't about find Donald it. Trump, he oh, really has to do You got to go for digging. deeper. You, I can't just He's go like, all of the negative, if you go to Google, I, oh, everything yeah, yeah, that comes yeah, yeah. up well, That's who the controls negative. these platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but, but that's the yeah, same way. So when I come away with a book, that's who wants to do the new way. Right, but you have to consider the source with anything. Like, yeah, it, that's well, a who, fact. who's writing the article, Who where they from, where they, yeah. that's what any Even when it comes to research and everything, yeah. You have to consider Who's funding them? Who's funding them? Right, it is what it is, but... I just haven't done enough personal research. Let me give you, ask to, you a question. To, Do you think you should be able to determine what your kids are learning even if they go to a public school? Yes. Of course. But I'm telling you, you look, you talk about California and New York. They are yeah. always the test states yeah, for what are. they want the whole country to eventually do. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that's why they want to get rid, rid of the and electoral college because if they can they can win primarily just by California, New York. Yeah, they don't really I mean, need. it started with sampling and now they're thinking about yeah. So I mean, it. it it's, you know, but according state, to them, you don't have to be. California is one of the first states that they banned the um, religious exemption for vaccination. Vaccination. Yes, yeah. they were. So are we getting Wait. the coronavirus vaccination? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No? Ain't no, no. What are you saying? Well, well, Donald Trump said he's going to use the military if yes, he did. Uh, people refuse. He sure did say that. Show me use that. the military No, he said what? that. No, Look, no, 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 no. Oh, damn, I really got under the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because anytime you say something, I'm telling you, You've got. I've got to hear. I want to see a video. He's going to use the military to what? Enforce? Fourth like, give, give us the uh, injections? Well, he, he said, he said uh, help aid in... Delivering the vaccination. See, that's yeah, that's thing. not but forced. No, that's the same as yeah, saying but, he's using the force. That's somebody said that he nah, said. No, no, he said it. I, no, said, I heard let about Let me see the article. Yeah. Let me read because I don't know somebody that? else put an article up to try to get in. When I read the article, I feel like I saw it too, but I didn't. I know that I didn't see the whole thing, so I don't know the context of it. You know it's not saying? even. So is that one of those things where people read between the lines type thing? Like, oh, this is what he meant? Is that the type of thing? Let me hear. Once you do have a vaccine, how do you properly distrib- distribute it? Uh, how do you get it out quickly? To well, when we have the vaccine, we have the military all lined up, and the military is going to be doing it uh, in a very uh, powerful manner. Powerful manner. Uh, these are people that don't usually do vaccines. They do soldiers, and they do lots of other things that, frankly, are more difficult. But we have uh, our general, and uh, logistically, he's all set uh, Tony, do you want to say something about See, that? See, that's, that's different that's than saying logistics. Like, he said powerful man. To me, it sounds like they're ready to roll it on out. They sound like, you're going to get it. 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 And that's why I said they two wings on the same I, I'm going to do some research. I hear what you. I see that clip. Who, who was that clip from? Where's that clip? I'm going to look at the see, yeah, that's from that that to him. That's from the joint. Yeah, send that to me because I'm going to do some research. You got an iPhone? You probably don't got an iPhone. I don't. See, I could have sent it to you right there if you had one. Man. <laughs> man, one thing send about it to me. Something. I'll send it to him. There you go. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean. I, I'm personally going to dip out. you going to try not to. Yeah, man, we've been talking no, about that. No, we're not going to leave the No way I'm taking that. No, we've been talking about that for a long time, man. What are you going to do? I was talking about that. I'm like, what are you going to do? Hey, we ain't going nowhere. We're going to get the vaccine. And we're gonna do what we're told. Right, that's what you say. We're gonna do what we're told about everything else when we're not recording. 
I, I got. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get the vaccine. And we're gonna do as we're told. Oh, yeah. yeah. Power to the president of the United States. Mm-hmm. Not to the people. That's right. That's a rebound. I'm sending it to you, Kevin. So. You getting the so, vaccine, Kevin? I, I, I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> you do have a choice. You just say. Oh, man. You brother kid. just say here and broke down the sacrifice that was made for you to have a choice. Say that again? Bye. The man that was sent here from the most high. So you always got a choice, sister. So where I'm going to live what you and who's going to see these, this kid and... I'm not getting nobody thug scene. That's one thing for sure. So what you going to do if they make it mandatory? I'm going to see I'm the do what I'm doing now, right now. I'm not getting no vaccine. I, I assume I'm you don't I'm do not. the flu vaccine either. No, I don't. I, I don't get no don't vaccine. Get and guess what? My mom, who is... She couldn't get the flu. She, I, I told my mom, don't even get the flu vaccine. Yeah. She hasn't been able to get it because of Corona. She said she ain't had no flu. She's been fine. You, you don't. I mean, it's. I don't get the. I just. I'm well, not I don't see how the vaccine's gonna help. I didn't think you could cure a virus. That's why when you get a okay. cold, they tell you no, to let it's it run its course. And, and they mutate. Oh. And that's, that's, well, that's why I was trying he's to tell y'all. He's politicking. I'm telling you, he's politicking. One of the things he's doing, he's politicking because they don't Brother, want. Brother, I'm trying to tell you, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you now, all right? Mm-hmm. What? Man, all this shit <laughs> is a finesse, man. That's all they know. All this <laughs> is a finesse. That's what so politics you align is. yourself with either side, a candidate. you are going to be finessed no in way. some form of fashion, man. Unless you and, want to do some finessing. Unless, yeah, unless you align unless you to finesse, be with finesse the yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I don't, that's the why item. I tell my uncle, I'm like, I don't, I'm not voting. Period. There's gonna it's be a lot of that. Well, and then my uncle like, thank you very much. Because my uncle like, and my uncle like, my uncle says that. So my uncle says that he's like, man, if you're voting, you voting for Trump if you're not voting. Period. I said, really? listen, man. Technically speaking, Donald Trump lost the last election. No, he did. The popular vote. He that lost the popular it. vote. No, that's why we have. That's why we. No, listen. But that's what I'm saying. You more people voting for California. It's why, why California? Look at the size of California. California of course, is, look at the size of New York. If that's not the case, the issue is when you look at the map of the colors, blue and red. You got the whole, pretty much red is the entire country. Blue you have trips. little pox of blue yeah, exactly on the side. Is. That is not that you can't base it on him winning because he got a but, state. But what that I'm has trying to people. say with my uncle is, listen, that man will win without me voting for him. The first time? The first time? <laughs> <laughs> what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Gonna make it's not going to be me. Oh, well, what if we all say that? That's what I get. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you got to vote. No, you can't you just not vote. You know, you have to be mad. You have to be mad. That's going to get you some some threats. Listen, right? man. Like I'm probably more of a Bible thumper than you. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, I'm trying to find the scripture. Deuteronomy <laughs> 17, scripture. 15, man. He loves Deuteronomy, okay? Thou shalt. <laughs> <laughs> thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Saying God should choose your king. One from an, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. Read. All these dudes Read. are strangers. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they mean. <laughs> Which is not my brother. None of these dudes are our brothers. None of these dudes. And if you understand nation, if you understand that we Let me so ask you, so, are you, are you, so are you receiving, uh, have you received the, 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 the refund check money that the, the government, yes. your brothers have been sending? Oh, wait. Yeah, I have. That is not your brother. I'm sorry. He's not your brother. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Have you received your enemies? Oh, you can, you receive your enemies' money. I spend the money. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I get all you the same same this from your brother in many ways other than not voting. I'm just saying we are. These ain't our brothers. Being, man, that's that, why no, no, no. Well, I'm saying you're being. I'm not, not talking about your you're brother. Being you're, you're benefiting from your not brothers. I mean, even this could be a benefit from your not. Not to say because it's liquor. Who's right. making it? Right, or right, who's right. made? Who made the glass that made you do this? I mean, you're been, you're making your not brother <laughs> rich. In many ways. Who made this part? I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody that's not your brother. So you contributed some rich. type of way. You are contributing yeah, but I'm anyway. Not voting right, for so him, you say that to say what? Oh, you are. I, I didn't vote for this brother. I didn't vote for. These people is no, not no. on a if you keep no, you, you if you you hurt, if you if we are and I'm not, it's not about the lick, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying we are participating in capitalism Agreed. every day, no and so at the end of the day, if you can say I'm going to sit back now and I'm just going to keep be- hopefully because you want to benefit, you're going to benefit from whoever is in power in this. I'm going to benefit or I'm going to suffer regardless. The bottom line is he will I'm not voting. <laughs> no, no, no. He will I'm saying you. Dice. 
Thank you. And I'm saying that, yeah. you know, um, because that's gonna that's what people are ex- you know expecting you to do is not vote. So that you, you When know, has voting gotten us thus far? Man, look, I mean it's gotten you a lot. I think it's gotten you a lot. This ain't got I, this didn't happen from vote, this happened from God, brother. No, I'm here, I'm not saying no. God <laughs> the Bible look, I can, can I show you a scripture in the New Testament where it says he determines beforehand the habitations of where you are to live? He yeah. knew you was gonna be born in America. Yeah. He could have had you be born in, in any he, other city. It's in the it's in the curses, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be slaves to strangers we never knew. We're gonna be stra- in a land we never knew. So you you think that you think that's that, that, us, that you are slave you, you for you personally that you are a slave. If, in I, don't pay, of that if I don't pay taxes on this house, guess where I'm gonna be? I'm gonna be homeless, man. And you feel yourself as, be in jail with that too. That's what you. I might have homes. I might be in jail, but even if I own this house outright, yeah, they gonna lock I, you up. If I ain't pay taxes, <laughs> they're gonna take me out of this house. This and property it's is so not mine. Easy for, all I'm saying it's so easy for you to say that. Living in America with that strict um, view of connecting that scripture with America, when I, and when you think about people who live in other systems, who are not necessarily, you know, they they may follow to t- follow that to a T. Like I mean, really following that, mm-hmm. they're not following that. They are literally giving it up to live that in twenty twenty. There are people. This is what I'm trying to say. There are people actually living Old Testament. Um, uh, uh, um, ideology. ideology. Okay. Right now in 2020, and without the luxuries that we are both, because we are. You talking about they, they, they uh, first, uh, third world cycle. Not just third world. I'm talking about people who Some are. Sh- they're always devout. Anything. Right. They're always devout. Muslims devout. I mean, devout, which means they put, they take, they, they, they bypass all, all the luxuries and they do what that Bible literally is trying yeah. to say. If it and ain't in there, they ain't doing it. So they, they're literally with, they're not sitting here and, oh, let's not even talk about Apple. That is the mark of the, you see that, but that's the, that's the curse against God right there. Mm. Biting the fruit. Mm. You I know, don't know what fruit it was though, man. I, I, I mean, the point, it was the apple. No, no, we didn't say it was the apple. Nobody said it was the apple. Yeah, the point yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to make, I, I'm saying there are people who, I guess, when you you know as you know when you talk about especially with the idea of Hebrews versus what they could say as Christianity and what we are you know what they, the difference this idea of there being a new covenant and why there needed to be a new covenant is because I believe that the old covenant just produces hypocrites it just I produces hypocrites that. and God knew that which is why he need, which is why he said all that stuff that I wrote before it was important it had principles which really those principles is what's really founded the experiment of our of our constitution of how we govern it's the experiment of the principles of it that works but at the end of the day trying to follow it and like you said the commandments which is fine but it creates hypocrites because at the end of the day you really never quite do it even when you think you're doing it. like there are people who go to church on saturday following the commandment of that being the sabbath and yet they don't follow the sabbath on Saturday, like they fall, they just have a church set. It look like a church. They still working. They still mad. They still frustrated. They just doing it on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And so I just think it, it. I think that is another. For me personally, I think that really that getting point. God, getting God is so much less of the minutia. Not the minutia. It's important what He wrote, but it's knowing that the author is still alive and breathing, and He will individually guide you into that truth. That's very true, and I agree with that. But um, it's still mandatory that we follow those. Long you say that it's mandatory, but well, you know, I can show you scriptures no, in you, the New Testament that tells you. You, you going and you going. Sh- I'm gonna show you in the New Testament where no one can do it. Oh, you can't do it if you're supposed to have. Hold up, what does Philippians four thirteen say? All right, you can do all <laughs> things. <through Christ. laughs> it, it says, <laughs> time out. Right, so hold up, time out. It says all <laughs> things, right? Through. It says all. But I'm telling you, through. So exactly. What are the we have to through Christ. Through Christ. Exactly. Not through keeping the commandments. No, but you keep the commandments through Christ. Through Christ. Exactly. Exactly. And the you point keep is, the commandments through Christ. But the point what of the commandments was to have a relationship with God. We cover everything. Did My we... mom said, "Jace just fell asleep." Really? He been listening to this. It's the through Christ <laughs> part. That's I'm talking about. People are thinking they're. But I understand they're, that. They're putting the Christ 100%. out and trying to get into the commandments no, 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 and become hypocrites. You got some people who actually follow or focus on who. They call them Old Testament Hebrews. You understand? Only. Old Testament only people. And they, they don't believe in Christ the same way they didn't believe in Christ back then when he was here. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? But everything has to be... Christ is just an example. 
I ain't gonna say he's just an example, but Christ was just. So they don't believe in the New Testament at all. Yeah, it's people who don't believe in the New Testament at all. They like oh, that's a that's for gays. Yeah, they like man. They be like man. This dude wrote it. This that and the other. Oh, I got they you. They tell got you, you not to. They you know they tell you not to do this. It's hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Uh, hypocrisy. In right. Jump. They, it's people. It's the second people who believe that. What did, I wanted to ask Kevin. What did you think about Donald Trump tweeting about um, living all of the people living in suburbs? Um, not being bothered by um, financially hurt or financially hurt by... Let me read the quote. I'm sorry. He said, I'm happy to inform all of the people living in their suburban lifestyle dream that you will no longer be bothered or financially hurt by having low-income housing built in your neighborhood. Your housing prices will go up based on the market and crime will go down. I have rescinded the Obama Biden AFFH rule. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. now, I, I don't have a problem with that. He's an asshole. Ain't stop, he? stop, stop. The way he do the enjoy. On. Let me tell you. What, let, let me tell you why I should say. <laughs> let me tell you why I say because again, this is about the hip hop I mean, part. This I mean, is she got her shoes at that joint. Like, I can't believe no, you. No, because not, most black people I think that way. Because at the end of the no, day, I did not. What did I say? I what what did, hold on. It was Chris Rock. It was Chris Rock. Chris Rock said. It was. It was the comedian Chris Rock who said. White people ain't the only one who hates only one who hate niggas. Black people hate niggas too. Now I'm not trying to say, I'm not be, I'm not I know that's the term I'm not making light of that term. Yeah. The idea is that we have our own trouble being with someone who is ignorant. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian. Right. If you're an ignorant person and you know and get so, away from, you're from around here. For so, the record, yeah, I, don't I did not we'll let the record show. So I what did you, not agree or disagree. You asked me. How could that be considered offensive? And I gave you a. a oh, problem. you're right. You're right. You're right. I did right. not say Different I agreed type of conversation. with it. You're but that's right, right, that's right, the whole right. idea. I was, was looking it. at it from. You was playing devil's advocate. Yes, I was. You did that right. You played devil's advocate a lot. I do. Right. I do because the other side. I kind of took offense. Why? Why shouldn't? Lower why are you offended? It doesn't affect you. Well, it actually. It could. Well, it does affect us in this neighborhood because we do have low income in this neighborhood, and we already see. Let me tell you something. When my parents first moved, listen, it there was no lottery. Of my, <laughs> 18 my years ago, there was no, no this was right. a different was area. No lottery think, in the, that, yeah. that um, gas station. It was a very different. I'm not saying lottery is. I lottery is. Hood. Hood. <laughs> when you have an extra lottery, all that stuff going on, it, it is. Lottery on this yeah, we didn't used to have a lottery. Yeah, lottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, lottery lottery's lottery's no, uh, I'm talking about when you came in our store, you didn't have them standing He's around the a little bit. for a very long time. Standing around. I'm just, what I'm saying is, when certain. It's not. It's not. When certain. People, you know, come into or you know, you have to build a certain amount. Of, I need to know more about the legislation to really speak on it. All I would say is, it's very easy. What I would say is to make that another case in point for why Donald Trump is a racist, without looking at your own personal life and saying, "Hmm, what do you think about the idea of you're living in this townhouse and you're paying three hundred thousand mm. dollars, and then someone else?" Who and let me tell you what's happening with the rich. Let me tell you something. Is, the people, yeah. the people who are benefiting from these low-income houses in these rich neighborhoods. Guess what? These, a lot of them are not poor. Mm. Some of them are actually wealthy people who are using it for investments, homes, and stuff like that. They are getting a benefit. A you're paying three hundred. You you're paying three hundred thousand yeah. dollars here, and the person next door to you. And I'm not. I, this seems so racist. I'm not going to give any names that might, you know. They're paying one hundred and fifty thousand. Mm. Because the government is basically subsidizing $150,000 for that house. The point is, who and where did they get that $150,000 to say, oh, I can actually subsidize a home? That's coming from somewhere. So we've got to look at that. How is that going to, I don't know all the ins and outs. I'm just saying on the surface, it seems a little inequitable for that to happen where, you know, for, you know, just, just so we can say that we have a house or two for poor people in the, or for or people who can't afford it. Again, goes back to that. at least two people. You know, goes back to the whole thing about the two people who benefited from the 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 the, the fruit. I don't know. I need to do my research kids. on. I just feel so. First of all, this is overwhelming. Um, it's so much information out there, yeah. and I just feel and like misinformation. Yeah, yeah, and just 
I'm just going to be transparent here. Like, I'm not the most educated voter, and I haven't been. I vote, I, just, I shared this with you. I voted for things that I probably <laughs> had no idea. Like, do you want one? <laughs> you ready to go by that do time. When you get by, you like, listen. <laughs> do you want to spend, uh, yeah. did, you should get we about borrow that $1 million for the bridge? Down Thank the you. I'm like, well, yes, that bridge needs to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so we so an additional three million dollars yeah. for the library. Well, Why yes, not? we should. <laughs> 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 I always vote to borrow money from. I, I don't know. <laughs> so I really do feel like whether it's Donald Trump or whether it's Joe Biden, I just have to do my research. I will say you've opened my eyes a lot, and I feel like you've shown me that, yeah, I probably am more conservative than um, what uh, I initially thought, because I just voted traditionally with my family, and um, and, and and that's just, we were Democrats. I have a know? question. Yeah. Back to the, to the, the quote. Uh-huh. Donald Trump. Why is it that automatically black people to assume that it was them? He was referring to them. Mm-hmm. When because they are based on statistics, black people aren't the poorest people in this country. Yeah, they're not the that's ones true. that's soaking up all the welfare oh, in no, this no, country, no. and they're not the, they're not the ones that's getting all of the civil rights benefits. It is the whites. Bingo. That's what they do. They come women. in on our on, white they, women. White women it's coming in on the backs of. You know, and white gays. White gays too. You know, they right. come in, you yeah, know, they they come in, they come in on the back of anything that's still right is now it, you yeah, know, yeah. And, and that's just what's that's what's going on. And we just sit here being played. And that's yeah. why going out to march with him for what? Why are we marching as if we're still in the sixties? We're not still well, that's in what the sixties. That's what our leaders like to do. Thank you. <laughs> well that's their tactics. And it works for them. Level. So I guess yeah. they're yeah. And looks good. Somebody punch you in the face, you look better at it. Stop punching me in the face. Not today. That was a comedy skit. Stop punching me in the face. Oh, too much of course said that. That's what it is. No, like why are you going to do that? You're going to punch him back. God damn it. At the very least. (laughs) So then we're going to start singing it. Stop punching me. Nah, it was let us in. Huh? Yeah, he was talking about letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicking in the door. The hungry. The blessed. Yeah. Yeah. There was some truth to that. Well, uh, thank you so much, Kevin, for coming. Yeah, I think we covered a lot today. We did. Hey, really I, before good, we go, man. I do. I want to shout out staying with Jennifer. Do you guys know this story? What are you talking about? There is this. <laughs> you're probably gonna say it's a narrative, but um, there's this woman who lives in um, New York. It's a racist park, though. I can't think of it now. Oh, you're talking about the lady that um, the white people was throwing feces on the yard. The neighbors mm-hmm. and planting dead animals. animals. And she had cameras all around her property. And she had won a judgment against them already. They continued mm-hmm. to do it. The police said that they couldn't arrest them unless she was physically yeah. attacked. Attack. Yeah. Um, so what happened was a bunch of black oh, men. I did see that. A bunch of black men on bikes came and they guarded her house. She has a, a toddler, like a two year old. Yeah. Who, who, who was doing this? Who was doing this today? Her name is Jennifer. I'm gonna She's a black woman. Uh-huh. Yeah, in Long Island, right? Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. That's where and um so she created she had a whole list of things on that her front done. door. Yeah. That they had done. She's like, you will hear prayers coming from my house. This is all the things I've had to deal with. And um I'm trying to find you. This, yeah, this is her door that she had posted, uh, the pictures posted. Anyway, uh, I'm bringing her up because they have finally, after the black men showed up right. on the bike. I saw that part. And was watching the houses. Now, suddenly, they want to prosecute. This well, they can't have all these brothers out here showing this their solidarity and strength like that. In the making. Leadership. Like she, years of, can you imagine buying a property and your next door neighbor is terrorizing you? Yeah. Throwing shit on your yard. She ain't dip yeah. out. Pieces, yeah. <sighs> Oh, um, I wonder. I, I, I'm not, I'm and not you like, live alone. You know, you're a single parent, and because uh, that was a question some somebody yeah. brought up in the comments. Where's the child's father while she was going through all this? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so the lady just Maybe got uh, the two of them just got arrested, and uh, the two neighbors. So I just wanted to shout her out for. I mean. 
that is something. Again, anytime there's an instance where it's truly racism, I'm always on your side, yeah. and it, it, that's the case. But you know, and the black community that came together, the black men that yeah, came man. together, right? That, that, that don't get to them. That that's don't, that don't yeah, get that promoted that that that's, because we, that's why they know what's prosecuting yeah, black people up. It's but, with bar. So, and, and you know what? I I don't want this to be another fifteen minutes, but I kind of like the not fucking around coalition. Oh, and, <laughs> do you guys know who they there are? There you go, man. You always why you always fall for stuff like that, man. Oh, y'all don't like the not fucking around coalition. I'm just who? saying when, it, when you he, get this, he be in there with your three, he be in there with Trump. When you get three hundred, the, the, the president of that joint, uh huh, he be yeah, he was the guy that was at the rally. The he might be a Second Amendment guy. Is he a Second Amendment guy? Yeah, I but that's why so. because because the yeah, idea yeah, is that well, yeah. listen, the, the the NRA started teaching and arming African Americans. Killer Mike ain't afraid of the Trump then. He probably is as a business person. He just you on know the why side. he not because he's down with a uh, Bernie Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders who heavy. would take all his little money he done earned. And give it to somebody else. He's a he's a pretty wealthy person. And he owns a lot of property and stuff. <laughs> so, but I'm just saying, anytime you get a, a <laughs> cat, five hundred, you got shit to do. Five hundred, a thousand black men together in one place. Been good. <laughs> huh? all black. Oh, and it's That's peaceful. It's I'm trying not to get Jay Doja to talk over me. But anytime five hundred to a thousand black men dressed in all black with weapons are marching and not fucking around, I would, <laughs> I like that. Did you know that one of them shot themselves accidentally? I did. I did read right that it was friendly. They not fire. fucking around at all, huh? <laughs> I bet. They, it was friendly. Uh, you fire. know the Most High got a funny way of. Uh, of of uh, showing people Revealing who they, who, who they it's, really it's are, called hip hop. That's that's why in the scriptures, Jesus always talked about you hypocrites. He always say you hypocrites, because the people who were supposed the people who are so you are expected to model what we say is righteous in a particular generation never quite are able to do it. There's always there's always a zeal for something, but not for the thing that makes you actually become mm. what you talk about. Say that. You have talking to, about the, he was talking about the ministers and the fart. With the exactly. Fart but that. the idea is that, that, you, that you, he said he'll say you have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. It's like people can have a zeal for a lot. Religion is one of those things where people... It can make a, it can make you zealous. You know what I'm saying? You have something, a system that's working. But at the end of the day, most people are are found to be hypocrites. In other words, they pretend. It's all a, it's they can't all really. A level they really level. are not devoted because the devotion to a system never works. It's got to be a devotion. It's got to be a culture, man. It's no, got to be a culture. It, 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 you got to worry about yourself yeah. first. It got to be whatever can get to your heart. Yeah, whatever but gets it has to your to actual be, heart. It has to be innate, man. It has to exactly. Be but you know what's funny about the story that she was talking about was like now we we talk about uh Car- what, what's her name Mega Stallion yeah. getting shot by uh that guy yeah what's, what's his name uh, Tory Lane. Lane. Uh-huh. so everybody allegedly. The bitch, allegedly so the big thing allegedly. is protect black them. men don't protect black women of you know I can't speak to that it's like. Nigga, I don't have that. We problem. got so many situations with black men becoming to nobody to the defense right. of black women on a regular That's basis, right. but what's being promoted? I don't. Really I think know. it's just one of those slogans. That shit right there. That's she a weird is, situation. She got nine thousand. I don't believe on that. Something is wrong. No, I know you can't. But, 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 but I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Me? You press charges against yeah. him, right? Yeah, you, did you hear her excuse? Did you hear her excuse? I saw. She was talking about some oh, because you know the black, you know people, black people getting killed, and I wouldn't no, pocket. She something, lying. Something she, is off about. So even know, when she story. delivered that message, did you see how she looked? Her? She, she had the hood on. She and, is and programmed. The, she is. A, yeah, it just didn't she look like. Bad, and then they said she only got fifteen thousand dollars. I mean, technically, from she's made seven million. If you're talking about slavery here, but she's only been like given for, like to hand out. I think it was in there for fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Carl uh, he had, he owned her little record label. Well, she, <laughs> oh, was, well. she was signed to his record yeah. label. Yeah, but now he, I guess he sold her. That, her. Listen, I'm and telling now she's you, on the rock that, it's and, the same thing. And she free now, and yeah. now she getting shot. Satan enslaved. Legendary. I don't think she got shot. I don't really. I think I can't speak to that. I, I and that throw my man Tory Lane through the blood off a alleged situation. People like canceling his music now yeah. and stuff I, like that. I never listened to his music before. But that's like, all before. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I see the videos of Bama being like, man, I can't even listen to none of these Bama songs no more. What? The leanest the music off of Al- oh, iTunes and shit like that. I'm like, I was never on, a fan man. before of either one, but I do think it's odd that you did not. <laughs> 
He's want to press somebody. charges against There's someone who shot you that wasn't your husband or you know like it's, this is just a random friend. No, they probably like a little. Crazy for I thought I mean, she was dating. beating him up. Still. I thought she was beating him up, man. That's why. Got I, the best if he really, if he really shot her, it's because. Hey, hold on. Oh God, ah, man, you big as shit. Bam! I'm gonna shoot you in your foot. Oh, shot like a uh, like on that what's the name? Hollow Knights. Like, like, they did a scene with him. Hollow Knights. Like a Hollow Knights. Yeah, that's the name. Yeah. He was like, I ain't going like this. Yeah. Man. Yeah. 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 Well, well, uh, it, good, was, guys. it was it was nice, guys. Kevin, yeah, thank you for coming, y'all, and sticking it out. Yeah, man. Whenever you want to come back, man, this was good, man. I like this. Yeah, yeah, this was good. Yeah, it was a lot so of you know, we don't have to keep it political all the time. We nah, we can we can shoot the breeze about something else. I know you do. I know you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that them two. You need to go on his podcast. Y'all can talk script y'all next time. We gonna talk about pop culture. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have more of Kiki's corner going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I'm here for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what you're here for, Tiffany. Yes, mm. I'm here yes. for the cookies I'm gonna be getting. Tiffany.com. Dot com. We need to have a jingle. He can make a jingle for y'all. He can make a jingle. He can probably do a jingle right now. Calvin, can you do a jingle you know, right I'm now? Tired, he he has, no, he does stuff on the spot. Tired, you don't understand. Oh, I'm too tired. He, his yeah. best stuff comes on the spot. Sweet spot, Tiffany. Maybe try to get him to go Maybe with try. it. Maybe try. 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 But that wasn't bad. Though. That wasn't bad. No. <laughs> I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. All right. All right. Shout it out. Peace.